Welcome to the Forgotten Realms, a land of mystery, a land arcane and wild. Most of the known world has until recently been covered by wild forests and unsettled grasslands. Even the oldest cities on the inland sea or the founding of Waterdeep, the greatest city of the north, are still within the memory of the oldest living elves of fable ever meet. City-states are common and nations on the increase as more of the wild lands are pushed back and gathered under a single king or government. But great beasts and evil humanoids still stalk the lands of the Forgotten Realms. Ruins of ancient cities and towers may yet be found among the underbrush, old, la old lands and names that are lost to memory and the past. Finally, the realms are a land of adventure. It is a time of heroes where legions of evil forces may muster and be destroyed by the actions of a brave few. It is a time where great fortunes and even greater power can be earned or seized. It is 1352 by Dale Reckoning, the year of the dragon, and our story begins in Waterdeep, the city of splendors and the jewel of the Sword Coast. This evening at the Yawning Portal Inn, several strangers have been called together for a mission cloaked in secrecy. As night darkens over Waterdeep, the lights of the yawning Portal Inn seem to shine even ever brighter. The tavern is packed. Day laborers, highborn merchant sons, pirate captains, and hardened adventurers all rub shoulders together in the inn tonight. Next to the actual yawning portal, a well in the center of the inn leading down into Under Mountain, stands a priest in the vestments of Taimora. He keeps careful watch over the revelry and the inf infamous well leading into the darkness beneath Waterdeep. The owner of the Yawning Portal, Durnan, the Wanderer, his wife Mehrli Drindlestan, and their 16-year-old daughter Tamsel dash around the common room attending to orders and drinks. They have done this a thousand times over, and none of them break so much as a sweat. But you have been drawn here tonight to see just one man. Ivan Swiftstrike, marked out of the crowd by his eye patch, ornate cutlass, and oversized amulet to the sea goddess Umberly hanging across his neck. Some of you seek him out to do good in the realms, and some of you seek him out for the promise of riches or power. Whatever your motivations, destiny has drawn you all here tonight. All right. And with that, uh, let us start introducing uh, the party as you enter the, the inn. Uh, to meet your contact. <coughs> we will go uh, in order of the current combat tracker, starting with Samuel. So, uh, if you think Country Bumpkin, you think Samuel. Uh, he walks in with a uh, uh, dirt on his outfit, and not really a lot of care that he has it on. Uh, the only thing that's shiny on him is his holy symbol. Uh, he is uh, a, a little bit awestruck by the sights and sounds around him. Uh, he would uh, probably make his way toward the bar to try to find out where the heck he's supposed to be. Excellent. Okay, and next up we have Perrin. So, kind of a smaller, thin... Uh, woodland looking elf enters the um, tavern uh, I guess since I don't know who I'm looking for I'm going to go to the bar myself don't really uh, much like towns but you know we'll figure out what's, what's going on see if I can find out this uh, person gave me the note okay excellent as you uh, enter the bar uh, Perrin Ivan Swiss Strike spots you from uh, within the crowd and calls you over to his table. Joaquin, you're up next. Uh, 
That's you, Darcy. Nudge, nudge. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, tall, good, um, cloaked, yeah, uh, strides and um, seems to be a, a, a purpose to, a pur purposeful sort of uh, look to the way he moves shouldered and and wearing a um a sword that is easily seen even beneath the cloak um and at a moment and looks towards the bar and heads off to get a drink excellent all right next up we have hanzo Hanzo walks in and is definitely out of place in the bar. You're seeing someone who is roughly six feet tall, extremely well built, real wearing very fanciful armor. It is very decorative with a full face shield and the face of a lion. You see two odd looking long swords in his belt. <clears throat> he is looking around the bar for the man in the description. He spots <clears throat> Ivan and makes his way right towards him really not trying to get out of people's way he is bullying his way through to his location okay well there's not too much bullying for you to do uh because <coughs> at the sight of your armor and your horrific helm uh the crowd parts before you chandran you're up next so chandran comes in uh, you face the elf with copper skin uh, he's simply dressed with uh, breeches and a tunic. They seem pretty worn. Uh, it's nothing fancy. Under his cloak, you can see an outline of a bow, and at its at his size, two uh, short swords. He comes into the bar, heads for the Ivan's table, but he seems to be scanning everybody's face, nervously moving forward. He reaches the table and tries to find a good spot that he can keep his back to the to the to the wall while still keeping an eye on the bar and the entrance. Excellent, a, a cautious soul. Next we have Kador. Uh, Kador uh, is eccentric to say the least. He uh, kind of a contrast to the to the samurai, but uh, he's like five foot five. Wears like a bright red skin tight suit with a tunic on top and a belt, but uh, he's festooned with like little jingling bells and like a couple horns. He looks more or less like an imp, kind of like prancing through the uh, the inn confidently, uh, kind of coming over to the table with the uh, eye patched fellow uninvited, spinning a chair around and sitting. Excellent. A bit of a show off, a bit of a showboat there. Next up, we have uh, Ailes. Yeah, so um, Ailes is already pissed drunk. Just, just gonna, just gonna put that out there. Um, he opens the door. His foot lands with the most wet thud that you can imagine. It's just like flap, like it's literally like a pancake hitting a plate for the first time. Um, and he, he, he's, he's wobbling his way around. He's like, where is? Ivan's swift strike. He 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 summoned me. He better have alcohol. Where where is, where where are you? Where are you? And he's he's looking around, but he can barely tell what he's looking at. And he he's 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 trying to find this guy, but he's having a difficult time. Okay, uh, Ivan spots uh, you uh, twirling about, uh, you know, trying to keep your feet up. Uh, he uh, motions to Durnan. Uh, and indicates uh, for, for Duran to uh, rescue you before you uh, uh, land into a table or uh, a sword and uh, bring you to his table. Uh, Durnan uh, makes his way and grabs you under your arm and, and helps you get over to Ivan's uh, table at, at the end. Uh, next up we have uh, Thaddeus. Oh, I'm very sorry. I, I think, was I muted this entire time? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm... Thaddeus, you're up. Thaddeus was supposed to be here at this time. He would have been here about six hours ago, scouting out the place. He's sitting currently in a corner with at least two exits within uh, visual range. 
I voted Heavy Crossbows uh, placed in the chair this item. He's not really doing a whole hell of a lot, more of watching the people in, in the bar than anything else. Okay, excellent. One who who prepares meticulously for his uh, his jobs. Uh, well, uh, you notice that the rest of the the uh, the whoever the the party is has gathered around Swift Strike, and you figure this is your time to join the table, Thaddeus, which you do. Uh, and with that, Ivan Swift Strike thanks you all for coming and explains that it was his employer that ordered him to draw you together from across the realm, and at great expense. Not all is right in Waterdeep. The city has never been completely free of danger, but lately enough people have been disappearing off the streets to draw the alarm of the public. A fortnight ago, one of Ivan's sources spotted several creature creatures skulking in the dark, dragging what looked like Waterdavium bodies down into the depths of the Waterdeep sewers. Your mission is to enter the sewers, search out and free the captives if you can, and most importantly, smash the network behind these abductions. If you find anything that might identify the culprits behind this, you should bring it back to him here at the inn. Ivan offers you a reward of 100 gold pieces per party member for this task, plus whatever you find in the sewers, you keep. No, me likey. He. he urges you to depart tonight. <laughs> Time could be of the essence here, but he offers you a chance to ask any questions you might have about the task ahead. I have an out of character question. Sure, give it. Bring this it. information that's here. Um, are we going to have access to all of this written stuff here so we can do that, or are we going to have to take our own notes? Oh, excellent. So whatever you forget, you forget. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not so going to... just putting it out there out of character to the party, then. Does someone here enjoy taking notes? I am taking notes currently. Oh. Uh, just consider oh, Kador your, your resident uh, erudite. He'll he'll have meticulous awesome. knowledge of what we do. Excellent. Awesome. Whatever you guys can remember, whatever you guys can record, persists in your party's memory. Whatever falls outside of that, it's not my responsibility to remind you. Yep. Oh yeah, so I have an in character question. Shoot. <laughs> so Ivan, I have two questions for you. First of which, you you said something about creatures. Could you like do you have any details about them? Possibly, maybe. Yeah, uh, Ivan says that uh, from what his contacts can, have shared with him, uh, some of these disappearances seem to have involved what looked like a slender woman, a short squat man or dwarf along with creatures, ordering around creatures that look no bigger than, let's say, a big child, eight or nine years old. But beyond that, he really doesn't have any further information about who or what it could be that's behind these disappearances. Uh, okay, yeah, so second question. I was promised a oh, drink hold on when I came Hold here. on one second. Where, uh, hold, oh. Zlimer? So what I like to do is yeah. I like to allow other party members yeah. to field the question. So you've asked yours. Does anyone else want to ask a question here? Oh, okay. Got to it. Yeah, I definitely have a uh, question. Upon hearing the description of these uh, creatures that look no bigger than a child, can I search my uh, memory of like lore songs and poems to see if maybe these are goblins? Hmm. Um, well, it... it it sounds like the right size for goblins, uh, but you wouldn't necessarily know if uh, goblins were behind these, these disappearances. But certainly, uh, any small creature could fall within that category, okay. including goblins. In what part of town did this happen? Ah, excellent question. Ivan says disappearances have been happening throughout Waterdeep, but they tend to happen in the areas of the town where the city guard doesn't have that much of a presence and at night, almost exclusively. And of course, always near the sewers. So that leads us to, uh, bag, what do we do? Do we just dive into the sewers and figure it out? Do we try and set up a sting? Uh, yeah. Ivan says that uh, he believes he's found one sewer access point that could lead to 
uh, whoever might be behind this, uh, and it's important that the party leaves tonight to investigate that sewer access point, enter the sewers, and see what they can find, before it's too late to save these captives that have been disappearing. Don't your folk have guards? Uh, don't the guards normally take care of missing people in town? Ivan Swistrike explains that uh, the guards don't necessarily uh, go spelunking into the sewers, and that uh, even beyond that, his employer feels it's important that you, as a group, undertake this task. So I've got a question, Ivan. Shoot. I uh, hear you say if we can find the culprits and bring them back here, but I didn't hear anything about what you're paying for that. It seems like a more difficult task to capture them quietly and haul them back here. Is there a reward for that part of this job? Ivan explains that uh, it's not important that you bring uh, the... Are you talking about the captors or captors? The captors. Oh, the captors. Um, it's not necessarily so a requirement that, that you, you bring the captors alive. Uh, any evidence that you can bring that could reveal uh, the identity of the organization or the network that might be behind these disappearances would be sufficient. And he points out that 100 gold is a fortune in the realms, wherever you look. Yeah, no, K Kador's, like, excited. He's 100 gold sounds great. Where was Why the last else? place they were found? Which is the best sewer entrance to go into? He says that there is a, a sewer access point north of the Castle of War District, which is where he intends to take you tonight if you accept this mission. All right, so we have the location, we have our goal. The real question comes down to, are we going to do any uh, surveillance or reconnaissance, or are we just going to kick down the door and murder some monsters? I mean, he wants it done tonight. I don't know how much, don't know what time yeah, it is. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on a bit of a time-sensitive mission here. Because there's people, there's people. Is, is, is how subtly do we want to do this? Do we want to go in guns blazing, or do we want to actually do this like, uh, like a stealth mission? Oh, wait, I also wanted to ask Ivan, are they targeting any particular type of people? By any chance? Ivan says that's an excellent question. Uh, so far, the abductions have targeted people from across the social strata of Waterdeep. Nobles, commoners, merchants. Um, it really hasn't, these disappearances haven't really spared anyone. Um, so there's nothing in common between these people? Nothing in common except that they are people. Okay. What other types of creatures are there in the sewers? Uh, Ivan says that it's rumored that the sewers of Waterdeep, uh, you know, go back hundreds, possibly even more than a thousand years. Certain parts of it have been forgotten over time, uh, and he has no idea what could have overtaken uh, some of these uh, sewer tunnels in, in, in the intervening span. But he does, he does understand that they are dangerous, and that's one reason why the city guard can't be relied upon for this mission. Just to be clear, we're not going into under mountain. Correct. Nope. Uh, Ivan points at Under Mountain <laughs> in the middle of the, the, the inn and says, you are not going there. <laughs> Good. I mean, accidentally. No intention, though. <laughs> but um, from the sounds of it, uh, to your to your point, Dwarf, I think we... Who, who here has uh, the ability to see in the dark? Who has brought torches? I think that might... Yeah, I have, I have, I have torches on me. Mission. I have one torch on me. Literally this one. I have torches for you humans. Uh, out of character, I've got a... Uh, uh, it's not on my character, but uh, my uh, saloon gives me 30 feet of infravision. Oh, right on. And a really cool yeah. spell that lights up the, uh, yeah. the place like the 4th of July. Starlight. <laughs> right, right. So I think, like, you know, so Kator continues. So it's from the sounds of it, uh, I don't think we'll have much of a choice on whether or not this is stealthy. If they can see our light and we're coming down there and we don't want to be blind, then uh, that choice will be made for us. Well, yeah, there, there's no one to that, but uh, 
a handful of us have dark vision. I'm, I mean, I could go in and, and just scout out. Well, this is out of character conversation, by the way. And Thaddeus wouldn't give a shit about what's going on. He's just <laughs> to go. Sure, out out of character. Uh, I feel like we should just play it by ear. I mean, we're 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 a fairly large party. I I don't necessarily feel. Uh, I, maybe this yeah. is Ador's like cavalier attitude, but like uh, yeah. I don't feel particularly threatened going down in these sewers. With the DM saying we're gonna die every five seconds, uh, I'd be worried. <laughs> all right well i think then it, it's agreed uh you all are amenable to taking on this mission and uh seeing what you can do to uh end this scourge in Waterdeep. uh do i understand that right just a yes. quick one more yeah. question uh, oh yes yeah go ahead who's who's hiring us who is Ooh, hiring you uh excellent yeah, question so uh Ivan Strike says it's not important for you to know who his employer is at the moment. Oh. Says the you man who follows Umberney. He says currently I am your employer. So it's one of the hidden lords. Can we uh, local history to know uh, more about Ivan? Uh, yeah, you could actually. Uh, let's do that. Um, who's want, who wants the local history of this guy up? All local history. I, I have it as a proficiency. Yeah. Might as well use we can, it. We can all try, I guess. All Everyone who it. has local history, go ahead and give me your uh, uh, skill checks. First roll. Secret. Okay. Or... Kador? Yes. Chandran? <laughs> wow. Double fours. Okay. And that's it, huh? Don't hit it. Don't All right. Anything. So, so uh, both of you recognize Swift Strike, and what you know of his background is that for many years he uh, applied the seas aboard various merchant ships, until it's rumored a storm almost sank the vessel he was crewing. After he survived the storm, he apparently came ashore uh, and pledged his life to Umberly uh, moving forward. Uh, in not wanting to test the fickle goddess's favor, he has not set foot on a ship since and has found work in the great city of Waterdeep, like so many of you. And that's all that you know of his background. Yeah, so it doesn't help to know for who, who he works. Yeah, I kind of whisper these rumors to everyone, trying not to offend uh, <laughs> Ivan, uh, <laughs> kind of like avoiding eye contact. It's funny, I just had a realization that lower is better in this. <laughs> At least when it comes to skill checks. Yes. Uh, right, right. Yes. All right. Uh, anything else? Any last business you want to take care of here with Ivan before you set off for the uh, the sewers? Uh, I just, yeah. I just like gestured to my barmaid. Uh, all my drinks are on this guy, <laughs> and I just like, I just get up and like, like swiftly move out. All right, you see, uh, Ivan give uh, Durnan a, a helpless sort of a, a shrug of his shoulders, and and Durnan just smirks uh, at, at your, uh, your 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 gives a statement there. Polite bow and waits to move out excellent okay so strike sign i'm gonna go ahead and adjust my spells if that's all right the uh, since we i can either go back to the three cure lights or since you're examining me yeah uh we we will we will get to that momentarily hold on one cool second beans. i just need to pull up something here Oh, whatever it is, it's big. Nice. Ooh. Swift Strike pulls a dark cloak tightly about him and bids you follow him through the darkened streets of Waterdeep. You are taken on a journey north of the inn and deep into the Castle Ward district. After an hour, Swift Strike finally stops at an unlocked sewer grate, located at the intersection of Shadow Alley and Lemon Tree Alley. With the moon now resting high over the city, he wishes the luck of Taimora with you as you prepare to descend into the bowels of the city. All right. How are you guys liking the uh, the scoring of the adventure so far? 
Oh, that's Excellent. nice. Excellent. Beautiful ambient uh, sound there. How do I um, get into the uh, Sirenscape? I've got the uh, program up and everything. <laughs> that will have to be a story for another day, my friend. We are a little gotcha. bit beyond that. Okay. Yep. So. You descend into the blackness of the sewers using a rusted iron handhold. It descends some 20 feet before you reach the service tunnel of the Waterdeep sewers. These tunnels look long forgotten and ancient. The slime-soaked walls stretch off into the darkness, and the darkness is alive with noise. The burbling of the sewer itself and strange noises that do not belong to any man echo from the depths of these tunnels. Okay. And so with that, uh, we are now uh, at the dungeon exploration phase, and I will uh, help get that map uh, sorted out for you guys. Let me just do a little cleanup here, because I don't want you guys to sort of uh, have to deal with um, the bandwidth of all these images. So I'm, oh, I'll share that. I'll keep on sharing that, but I will, I will take off. Close some of the others. Yes. Yeah. So I'll yeah. Close uh, Kador doesn't seem too happy about going. Into the sewers, but he thinks about that hundred gold and <laughs> steals himself. It's just like, well, um, back on the subject of light, uh, I, just as a show of hands, uh, let's figure out who needs a torch because I I don't want the torches to mess with my infravision down there, and I I definitely don't want to be seen by whatever might be waiting for us. No, uh, I, I believe I need a torch, so. Well, I mean, not by whatever's down here. People don't tip you in the sewers, so. Uh, you sound like you want to go first, though. Uh, do I have that right, Mr. Dwarf? Okay, so, so what I need, uh, what I need you guys to do for me now is I need you to to uh, designate a uh, a caller for the group. And then uh, work out your marching order. Question with regards to marching order. I'm on the party chief. Are we going left or right or north south? North south. Alright, so the one at the top is going to be in the front. Correct. Yes. Do we have a scout? Mm, probably should be one of the thief major. Mage Thief Fighters. I can't move silently. I'll just be honest. <laughs> My skills lie in different places. Alright. Chandran has really good uh, stealth skills. So does um, yeah, but Joaquin. Very low HP, though. Yes, that's the trade-off for these uh, multi-class characters. They are they are very yeah. talented and very, very fragile. That's <laughs> fine. Fragility is fine. It's about not being seen. Uh, are you are you okay with taking point and then I'll be behind you like a hundred feet? Sure. Can first. we can we go uh, two wide or are we going one wide? You you can you can only go two wide because as as you, if you, as you can see on on the map here, uh, the the only sort of direction the party can go in is north, and that is uh, two squares wide. You can accommodate one character per square. So, in fact, I can draw that on the, uh, the party sheet map you have here. No, yeah, I don't see the map. I see the map, but it's dark. It's masked. It's just the bottom, the bottom. No, the map's not open for me. It should say water deep sewers. Mm, nope, I haven't got that for some what, reason. What? What we were looking at, though, is just the party sheet for order. So I, I understand what you're, you're talking about, Slimer. I'm looking on the uh, the image that I've shared with the party, and I don't see you there right now. Um, try opening up the. It, it should be within your images. Click on images, and you should find the the map there for yourself. See if you can open it up manually on your end. No, I I got the images. I'm gonna look for. It. Give me a second. Sure. Uh. Uh, at the inch table, nope, nope, nope. What is it called? The water deep sewers? Yes, that's the one. 
So in images, you might be able to hit at the top under group and go to new, and it should show the newest things that have been shared with us. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm in now. Okay, there you go. No, it's, it's, it's just gray. It's a lot of gray. It will take a moment for, for the image to load for you, uh, Zlimer. And once it loads, there's yep, only yep, a very yep. small portion of the map that's been revealed so far at the bottom of that image. So once again, you need to designate a caller and establish your marching order. I think the marching order is done. I just need a caller. So, who's gonna be the caller, I guess? I don't think it can be me. I'm still trying to put together the character. Want me to quiet as well. <laughs> well, if no one else, Kador will volunteer. Okay. Then, uh, Kador, uh, so as the caller, it's your responsibility to talk to the party and find out what everyone wants to do during each exploration round and convey that to me, the DM, okay? Understood. Okay, I'm going to put you down on the map and, uh, what? Well, let's see, I'm going to put down the, uh, the party leader on the map, actually, the one who's at the forefront. Let me check out your formation here. We have Ch Chandran, so uh, I'll put Chandran's token down on the map. Um, uh, well, actually, no, that's nope. not going to work. Uh, it should be, it should be the party caller, um, since uh, you're sort of dictating. Well, actually, no. I guess uh, we we could keep Chandra in here. All right. So uh, let me take one more look at the formation here. Okay, I got it. All right, perfect. Still waiting for the map to load. Oh, who's waiting for the map to load? I am. Oh, I, all I have nothing but like gray squares everywhere. Me too. Uh, no, I don't even see the squares. It's just gray for me. Does it say loading or not? Mm, nope, nothing. It's just gray. Did it's... you use the yellow arrow to go to the bottom? Yep. And in the middle, <laughs> it's a huge map. That's a really big map. You have to use the, the like if you mouse scroll out a bit um, and then you go to the bottom right where that little oh. scroll thing is and you left click in that gold button it will drag the map around ah perfect I, no this I, is I, great I, there it is it's like, where'd it yeah go? you might have to pull down to the very bottom and then scroll in yeah yeah Okay, so uh, another important thing to determine is uh, how far the party can move each round. And that's determined by the slowest uh, member of the group. And I'm checking out your movement right now uh, to find out who is the slow poke in the party. And I have the feeling... It's, it's all like the dwarf. Yep, I have the feeling it's going to be... Thaddeus is I cheating. The... He's not move five. That's a lie. When you're, we when you're wearing your full... Attire, I think you're at move two, correct, Thaddeus? So you guys can move a grand total of 20 feet per round. Okay, so you are at round zero. You have just descended into these sewers. You have put yourselves into uh, party formation. What do you do? Okay. So I'm gonna go hug the shadows and start moving forwards uh, 50 feet in front of the others. Okay. Again, you gotta talk to the party caller, not me. <laughs> yeah. So from the sounds of it, you, uh, to my understanding, Shandoran, you want yeah. to just go scout out ahead, yeah. maybe come back after you see something interesting. Okay. And then the rest of the party, does it sound right. like we're just going to wait for him to return? On, on type stuff and it's easy to uh, I was thinking more, I move ahead, but you still follow in case something happens. Okay. Uh, I assume we want to be more than 15 feet away, approximately. That way the torch uh, light doesn't, like, it's give 50. you away. 50? 5-0. 
Yeah. <laughs> that works. That's basically at the edge of our dark, most of our infravision. Uh, yeah. So we can still at least see you while we're behind you. And what kind of torches? We only have torches. It's like 10 feet uh, of light. Yeah, that's actually an excellent question. What are you using for a light source? Because I believe there are, are members of the party that don't have infravision. So those guys are... I'm going to light my I'm gonna light my torch. You're going to light a torch, uh, Zlimer? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let me give you a torch. Just give me a moment. But am I in front of the torch light? Am I gathering this correctly? Like, if anyone is ob objecting to this, please let me know. Shandoran's gonna kind of trek out uh, 50 feet ahead of us, and we're just gonna kind of follow behind. Yeah, yeah pretty follow, much. I'll, I'll follow at the back I'll of the be, group, uh... division, watching behind us for anything to. <laughs> I'll be moving in stealth, uh, stealth mode. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Zlimer, you light a torch. Um, let me just uh, get the setup for you here. Mm. Right, so Zlimer uh, lights up a torch to ward off the darkness, and you get 15 feet uh, worth of um, uh, light source yeah. around the party. So I will go ahead and add that to your location presently. Can you guys see the little square that I provided you with? It should be a circle. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep, yep. So I think we've reached a consensus yeah. when you're ready. Right. that we can center on the map? Because I think I just lost it. So by default, it'll center on the map, but only if your token is on order, I believe. Okay, caller, so... Oh, go ahead, Red Mage. Sorry, yeah, I'm in the map right now. I scrolled out, and then I scrolled back in, and I can't see where we are. Okay, go so ahead and right-click, go to resize, and then select original size. That should help you a little bit. Uh, no, I still oh. don't see where we are. So when you scroll in with the mouse wheel, wherever your mouse pointer is, is where you're going to scroll on. So you scroll out all the way, use the bottom right to get where you can see the thing, and then sc scroll very slowly, one click at a time, with your mouse pointer moving to wherever the the material is on the screen. Otherwise, you'll you'll end up scrolling away from it. Uh, I just closed the screen. What menu is that? Uh, images. Uh... Water deep sewers. Uh, I mean, you can just click on new and it will be like one of the two. So maybe if you were to use the little thing in the bottom right hand corner, the little gold thing, we might be able to pull bottom. it downwards, because we're at the very bottom and we're basically at the very center. So you might then have to pan to the right or left until you see. Yep. The, the only way to pan is using is, is left clicking in the little golden box and then dragging your your mouse right and left and up and down. And, and don't feel bad, uh, Red Mage. I'm sure it's going to take uh, you know a little while for everyone to get used to the program. So take your time figured out. I had to uh, close it open my a couple times to get it to show up and then it just showed up, so. Yeah, it's not. It's in the bottom, right? Bottom, bottom center. It's sort of in the bottom center. Bottom center. Bottom. It's going to be like a blue map. Like blue... You know, it looks kind of like a sewer, like a bubbly water with some squares on the side. 
I had some trouble finding you. I see you there. I got a. I got a. I really got it. Perfecto. Great. Now, now when you. When you when you do scroll in on it, if you want to, make sure that you as you do it, you move, your, you keep your mouse pointer in the center of where you want to scroll to. Gotcha. All right, I'll be joining you shortly. Okay. So, uh, caller. Um, yes. What's up? What are we doing? So, what I my general consensus, and people can speak up, but I think this is for the most part accurate based on what I heard from everyone. Um, Shandor is going to be about 50 feet ahead of us. That way, we can still see him with our dark vision. He's going to kind of uh, scout out and maybe give us some signal or sign if he finds like a fork or, you know, a path that goes one way or the other or something dangerous. Uh, basically, just he's our, you know, alert uh, forward before the light. I think Samuel and uh, Ailes are going to be together around a torch kind of in the center. And then the elves are bringing up the reeler, like using their elf senses to make sure that we're not snuck up upon uh, from behind. Okay, that's. Don't forget, like I do have thirty feet of information, so. Okay, that sounds like a, a good plan. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, what spells do we have memorized, Limer? What it, what do you have memorized uh, currently? Uh, I have animal friendship, bless, and shalele. Okay. Make a note of that. All right, and moving on. Uh, Shandrin, what do you have uh, memorized? I regret it now, but I have Grease. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You have Grease memorized. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Who else do we have here? Casters, casters, casters. Um, Joaquin, Sorry. what do you have memorized? Darcy! Magic Missile, and... I think he can only memorize one spell, Cheater. <laughs> so, is it Magic Missile? Or... <laughs> no worries, you can use chat, it's fine. Uh, so yes, what, what's, what spell do you have memorized? Magic Missile. Magic okay. Missile. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. All right. Uh, round one, so do I assume the party moves up 20 feet with uh, Shandarin leading the pack? Yes. Yeah. Well, Shandarin okay. goes in his 20 or 30 feet as we wait. All right. Uh, and then when he gets 50 feet, we will then move in behind him. So just so you guys know, amongst the things that you can do during an inspiration round, you can take advantage of all three of your senses, sight, sound, and smell. Um, so does anyone want to do that? I will. I'll avoid, I will. <laughs> I'll avoid smell. I'll avoid smell of the Thanks. <laughs> who, who is I will? Hanzo uh, uh, will use his, his active sense of smell because it's acute. So okay. it's going to smell crappy anyway. All right, Hanzo. The rank stink of the sewers assault the your senses. And because you are particularly okay. sensitive, I mean, it, it's almost overpowering uh, for your acute senses. Does anyone else want to... Uh, Take a look at the environment here. I'll uh, try to listen. I wanna, I wanna, yeah. Who is who is listening? Chador. 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 In the distance, you can make out a faint splashing noise, and it sounds like it's coming closer. Mm. Anyone um. else? Uh, I want to use my smell and my hearing, so... Okay. Your smell and your hearing uh, brings you back uh, the same sort of results that I described earlier. Nah, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm from the swamp. This is technically the same smell. Yeah. Yep. Did, uh, how do you want it to work to move silently uh, when I move forward? So, um... You, you can hide in shadows uh, um, to stay sort of... Well, yeah, what is what is the check here? Go ahead and make a move silently check. Put it in the dice tower. I did so already. Oh, okay. Um, you, you made your move silently check? Let me just check. Yes, you did. Okay. All right, you move silently, uh, Chandran. So I'm going to go ahead and move the party uh, 20 feet, and I'm going to move you 50 feet on the map, okay? Uh, what okay. is what is your... Um... Yes, go ahead. 
Sorry. Uh, what's that, Red Mage? I, uh, I can't see anything but a spear with some red uh, scrolls on it. Uh, yep, uh, yep, that's, that, 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 that's, that's what we're that, seeing too. That's everything. So all of that blue stuff on that map that just disappeared. Oh, shouldn't. Maybe move your, uh, move your screen around using that little gold thing in the back, or on the bottom right. So, so uh, Chandran, you have 60 feet infravision, correct? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and process this round now for the party. Assuming that's a dead end where we came in the sewer, that little jut off to the right. Yes, that is a dead end. Okay. Then. Okay. okay, and we are now in our first exploration round. Uh, so that round has transpired. Uh, Shandarin, uh, the darkness stretches off down the corridor. You don't see any distinguishing features uh, from where you presently are. What do you do? Uh, caller, you're up. Okay. Um, I'll just uh, kind of see what Shandoran's doing. I I feel like before I wanted to work, like, <laughs> it, as crazy as this is, one of my proficiencies whistling. So maybe before we got in the dungeon, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Kador was giving Shandoran, like, a little lesson of just, like, you know, whistle twice if there's danger. Whistle once if you just want us to, like, keep going, you know? Not to give away your position, but just kind of like as a, uh, so or maybe knock on the wall, you know, knock mm -hmm. on the stone, give us some kind of to check key what that, that, yeah, exactly that you want us to follow up behind you. Yep, yeah, I'll do it. Wait, how did I you guys get the cat? The wall. I have a, right I have a dark. Right um, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask, how did you guys get your character icons on there? Oh, oh. Uh, I believe Wyvern's putting him up there for us. Yeah. So no. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. We again, we're we're uh, we're adhering to a party marching order. We're now putting okay. all the tokens down the map until you guys okay, run okay. into an encounter, okay. in which in which case then I'll put everyone down according to their marching order in the party sheet. And yep, does anyone have any? Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, if anyone has anything that they particularly like to do besides following until we have some kind of interaction. Uh, let me know. I think we're uh, also checking for secret doors at the back as we pass. Just yep. as a reminder, okay. uh, Fabulous' encompass movement is two, so we move at 20 feet. If the scout wants to spend that same movement, dashing ahead and then spending some time to check, we will move at the same speed as you will, uh, just on the basis of moving at 20. Okay, so... I pick uh, up the dwarf. <laughs> uh, uh, TJ, how do you make a secret door check again? Is, it's a, is it a D6? Uh, yeah, it's a D6. Okay. Uh, go and Elf is a 1 through 3. All right. And, uh, yeah, then I'm Dice tower. The tower. Sure. So what you want to do, uh, Joaquin, is grab your D6 and then put it in the dice tower. And uh, it will roll for you. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yes. Go ahead, Rune Mage. Yeah, and the dwarf is a one on four. Okay. Uh, go, go ahead and uh, um, put your uh, dice in the tower. Uh, tower, sorry. Okay. All right. I'm noting. I'm noting your uh, your rolls here. Uh, Caller, what's happening in round two? Uh, I actually, I I'm, wanted to say something about round two. Go ahead. Uh, is it wait? So just to ask the caller. Um, I wanted to know if there's any like uh, small animals around here, like a rat, perhaps. Okay, environmental descriptions the DM can supply. You don't see any small okay. rats uh, around the, the sewer. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm signaling back. Um, stop! Someone's coming. Uh, stop! Get ready. 
So Do it's I... just showing me one d6. It's not showing me the number. Well, the, the, it's it's showing me your results, uh, Red Mage. When you yeah, it's, it's a dice table. It's a dice table. You don't see it. Yeah, the, um, DM, yeah. the DMC. Yeah, I wondered that too, so don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Chandran, just so you know, Infravision, the way it works in uh, AD and D, at least my interpretation of it, is that you basically can make out make out heat sources, and they're very sort of like uh, fuzzy and vague kind of blobs in your vision. So basically, what you see right now is this like long tunnel of blue, indicating a lack of heat sources, sort of a cold environment. Behind you, you can see like these red blobs that that are your your party members, uh, full of life, full of uh, heat, but you don't have the ability to signal to them. They won't signal be able to see it. To yeah, we set it to the knocking system. Okay, so you use the knocking system then? Yeah. Okay, you, 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 all right. I'm noting that you're tapping at the uh, the tunnel wall. Yes. So. Caller, does that mean you guys are advancing or holding position? Uh, one tap or two. The one to stop. <laughs> okay, I guess we are holding. Okay. Do I still uh, hear something coming ahead? Yes, you do. So is that then the action for the round? You guys will hold position here? Caller? Caller, I'd like to suggest we draw weapons. If we have them. oh that's fair um yeah i guess people will pr prep uh to take on a conflict no, wait, uh, wait, wait, just, wait, just out of character yeah. here for a second why one why are this why are there two of me up, up top why are there two ales of you? yeah because there's two ales on my screen like up top you know where the character icons are yeah i've i've, I've somehow cloned I, I don't know some people can clone. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoops! Whoops. I just kicked Whoops. I Gator. Both of them. Well, yeah, it's his group. He'll, he'll have to go back. Kator, are you alright? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I disconnected for some reason, but I'll be back. That's because I kicked you. For some reason, you were being read as uh, yes. Alice. Alright, well, uh, noted. Oh, okay, so, um, holding for the round. Okay, I'm advancing you into the second exploration round, and I'm going to do some things behind the screen over here. Give me a second. I would just like to point out that Thaddeus will have a bolt uh, loaded in his heavy crossbow at all times. He has a action to launch that bolt at anything that looks even remotely threatening. Like Kaldor at the front. So Hanzo, <laughs> Hanzo, from what I understand, you can correct me if I'm wrong, if you're specialized with a ranged weapon, you can get like a first shot in, in, in an encounter, right? Yes, before if the, the bolt is loaded, it goes in before initiative is rolled, and then he still can have two attacks. Okay. If it's a bow, a crossbow is different. The cell rate of fire. So wait, what about, what about a blowgun? Yeah. Wait, what about a blowgun? Can I prep that? If you're specialized? Oh yeah, I'm, spe I'm specialized, I'm specialized. Oh, you have proficiency, but if you're not a warrior, you don't have weapons. Oh, okay, sure. okay, so that's a special, okay, okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, it's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so I'm noting that uh, Perrin will have his bow ready. Again, um, it, it, you require specialization in order to get that first shot off, and Perrin does not have it, uh, but um, Thaddeus does, uh, that's for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, share some details about just what is happening here. Right, so as you guys uh, hold your positions, um, get what I need here. Right. So, as the seconds tick by, the sound begins to grow louder. It sounds like someone or something frantically running towards you. And, uh, you know, you, the rest of the party is a good distance away um, from, from you, Chandran. But you, using your infravision, 
can make out a a what looks like a heat source emerge from this sort of bluish mess in front of you, and it begins to grow. It begins to uh, get more and more distinct uh, as the seconds tick on, as if it's moving to you at great speed. How big? Humanoid. Uh, it it looks it looks like a humanoid shape of some sort. Um, and let me just check to see. Uh, it 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 does emerge within um, within your view. And uh, again, it's infravision, so you really cannot make out details. But it, it it sounds, for what it's worth, like some old human man uh, could that seems to be running from his for his life uh, from something. Yeah. I don't know about you, but old human man scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so uh, you ha you are now at the uh, start of the um, the third exploration round here, um, and uh, I'd like to know what you guys do. So, caller, take it away. So right, for Sandoran, I'm holding, I'm staying hidden, I'm letting him pass. Give me a hide, a hide, a hide and shadows check, yeah. please. Okay. Caller, sorry, go ahead and, and, and take your the actions to the party. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, I think my kind of... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? My understanding seems to be that once this creature or person can show up in Torchlight and we can confirm like their identity, uh, we can kind of react based on that. Obviously, if they're uh, some kind of monstrous humanoid. <laughs> well, uh, and I guess I guess maybe a lot of this can happen while Kador's like whispering with people, but uh, and maybe how... we take them alive, maybe to find out more about what's happening. Red, uh, just you, just as a favor to me, people. Red, please don't spam dice in the chat window. Okay. Maybe. Yep. All right, go ahead. Maybe this is a person that was captured and is trying to escape. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I want to hold, stay there, and I'll keep watch on what's coming after him. Oh, good. Did, did anyone, Damn any right. objections to waiting until they show up in torchlight, and then we can? Well, they'll pass three of us before they show up in torchlight. Three will pass before they show up in torchlight. We're all, we're all grouped together on the torch, are we not? No. I am. Candor is at least. 50 feet ahead of the torchlight. Understood, but he's depressed into the shadows, and, yeah, and I'm, he's going to wait I for them to pass. I would be on the edge of the, tor the torchlight. So I'm not in the torchlight. Okay. Uh, who is who is, who is is at the edge of the torchlight? Who is at the edge of the torchlight? I'm going to assume that Hanzo and Thaddeus were on the edge of the torchlight. Because if you're inside the torchlight, your information is crap. So we yeah, couldn't see okay. Kador. It's okay. a price I was willing to pay, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, uh, all right. In that case, I'll put you guys just outside the torchlight range, uh, Thaddeus yeah. and uh, Hanzo. Yeah, just sort of like the 50 feet behind Kador, so we can see him, but not everybody else. <laughs> so, caller, uh, what's the what's the uh, what's happening this round? Seems like we're holding position. Doesn't seem like anyone's advancing. Um, Kador himself is just w waiting to see them show up in torchlight. But I get, but to his understanding, the two toughs, like the two fighter types, are gonna form like a meat wall that they're gonna run into <laughs> first. Um, so he's gonna wait until he hears more signals from. Uh, Shandoran about maybe what's coming, you know, enemies, something like that. Yeah, for next time like I'll work on knocking, a... like knock, 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 <laughs> knock. If like there's a bunch of goblins, like oh, an Fortress army of goblins knocking. coming down. Sure he's running. Uh, at that point, I'll yell. <laughs> okay, 
Fair enough. But yeah, I'll work for next time a signal, uh, a bunch of signals, to, so we can uh, know what's what. Okay. Like hold or get ready or come help me or. We just got together for one evening. We haven't figured yeah. that out yet. <laughs> All right. So not, nothing else uh, uh, as far as uh, things you want to communicate to me, caller. Yeah, I'm. I'm really not quite sure. It seems like the. The idea is to let this first, you know, person hit the group, um, and then we'll figure it out from there. Maybe uh, uh, K Kator's like whispering up to the fighter types. It's like, what if if there's a one of the cap the like the captees? Let's like protect them and maybe send them back to the torch and intercept whatever might be chasing after them. And if they have a bunch of flaps of oil strapped to them, then they shoot them down. <laughs> Okay, in that case, uh, I will assume that uh, you guys are continuing to hold and Chandran will signal to the party if he sees hostiles uh, pass by him, correct? Yes, okay. absolutely. All right, so I will go ahead and process that round for you. Just give me a second. Just gonna put this humanoid a little away from the party, and uh, yeah, okay. So as um, the 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 heat source passes by you, Chandran, and, and as he does so, maybe twenty or thirty feet behind him, loom a whole mess of of heat sources swarming across the sewer. Uh, floor and and uh, uh, sewer water. You, you, it looks like a, 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 a writhing mass of life surging down uh, towards this person and towards your party members. So that's what you see, Chandran. Okay. All right. And moving on to the party. Your torchlight flickers at the edges of the darkness beyond, and as the noisy splashing reaches the crescendo, a filthy, badly disheveled man jumps into the light, his eyes wild with fear and madness. They're coming, he screams at you, and then you notice them. Dozens of hungry eyes reflecting blood red off your torchlight. Oh, fuck. I was like, say, and this is where I get oil. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with grease. that, let me go ahead and set up uh, what is happening uh, around uh, the party. Uh, just give me a moment. This is going to take a little bit of time because you guys uh, decided to do something a little different. Um, so, I got to do a little finagling. Uh, El is just, El is gonna, just gonna say, hello little buddies, I like it, I like it, come on over <laughs> Can you control them or we burn them? Oh, that's, that's the issue there, I can't control all of them, there's quite a bit if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Otherwise known as uh, that to blow them all up. This is burn have them a, all. We have a turbo torch and I have grease memorex. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, grease is explosive, isn't it? That's how it worked in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, and the good thing about uh, pen and paper is uh, you don't need to put in a large amount of budget for environmental effects. <laughs> you must <laughs> can work it out. <laughs> so, do we get a clear vision of what it is we're fighting? Or do we you, so the the persons, the party members with infravision, can see uh, again what I described the Shandarin. It looks How like far? the the entire floor. For uh, I will I will measure this out just so you guys understand. The entire floor for about 50 feet looks like it's alive. It's like this giant red snake surging down towards you. Um, of course, I've shared the uh, the picture. 
So, you, I mean, so, the the, I mean, the, the, the uh, humans the, uh, with normal vision human can see uh, can see blood red uh, reflective eyes in the torchlight from what must be dozens and dozens of creatures. I'm going to go ahead and, and reveal uh, much of what you guys are seeing because those with infravision would be, you guys are well within your infravision. Yeah. So, Chandran. Uh, is, yeah, how, how does movement and uh, actions work in second edition? You yeah, so uh, again, TJ can correct me if I'm wrong here, but if you move, you can make one attack. If you hold, you can make your full attacks for that round. Correct, uh, TJ? Yes. What about casting? Oh, good question. I don't have the top of my head. Casting, you can, yeah. in second ed, you can move and cast. Okay. But your movement adds one to your initiative. If you cast Wait, and then move, you get to cast your spell and then move. So we're we're obviously <laughs> on the precipice of an encounter, so I got to let it, I, I need to uh, lay out the rest of your tokens, so just give me a moment. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, I actually had a question. Sure, shoot, uh, shoot your question. So, yeah, like, you, you see how those rats are, like, lined up, right? Yeah. If I, if I, like, use animal friendship and ask one of them to block off the peop ones behind them, would they be able to, in theory, just, like, walk around the uh, guy that's blocking them? Oh, I imagine. Oh, there very much right so. Right. They go right over top of them. It's a oh, well, that's nice. That's nice. So that's, that. I'm not wasting my animal friendship here. Yeah. This is. They seem like bad friends. Hanzo yells out, "Oil! Who has oil?" Okay. Does does that look like the, a, a correct approximation of your marching order, the one that I put down here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, pretty close. Okay. Let me go ahead and. Uh, just something here. Well, we're in the sewers, right? You are in the sewers and you are officially in combat. So Thaddeus, um, do you want to take your crossbow bolt shot before we uh, roll initiative here? Shoot. There is a uh, uh, small, st uh, there, there is a stream of gray water uh, in the center of this corridor. If you look in the map, uh, that sort of bluish thing with sort of those uh, white circles in indicates where the uh, sewer channel is. It's about ankle deep. Uh, also, wait, before, before we roll initiative, before we roll initiative, I just want to know, uh, can I, like, can I, like, so I can see these guys, right? Uh, you're an I elf, don't... right? Uh, no, I'm a human. You cannot. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, I will, uh, I will definitely take my free shot, and, um... So, what you said it's not super deep. Is it deep enough that the rats would have problems getting into water, or, or no? No, uh, the rats are, are large enough to have no problem, uh, making their way down this tunnel. The big rats can swim, dude. Yeah. Rats can swim crazy yeah. good. Chandor, get back here. Yes, they can swim, but can they swim and effectively fight? That's the question. So, uh, in that case, I think I'll just take my pod shot and uh, that'll be that. Alright, so to attack something in um, Fantasy Grounds, Thaddeus, what you want to do is you want to press control click. You want to press control, hold control, and then click on your target, and you should should target the rat that, that uh, you want to attack. Let me just make sure that you are, you're selected here. So I've, I've brought the, I've selected you as the um, active uh, token on the map. Uh, try control clicking on one of those rats. Yeah, I don't see the rat so token either. Oh, I like, do. It was like the, the many, many, many ones. <laughs> It may have something to do with me and uh, Red not loading the map either. 
when I when I dropped out and loaded back in, I couldn't see the uh, the actual like blue part of the map. I could see the tokens. Uh, so I'm gonna try and log out and log back in real fast. Uh, you can you can you can select the rag on the combat tracker. Just you, take Rat Giant Seven. You you could yes you could do that too. I just drop it onto the rat on the combat tracker. Wait, who? Wait, I just want to ask, who has Grease as a spell? Me, but I can't talk right now. <laughs> no, okay. So, yes, uh, Mastodon, wait. you're not on the combat tractor yet. Let me help you, uh, uh, Thaddeus, make your first attack. So I'm going to describe what, what we have in front of us. There's about maybe uh, six rats directly in front of you. Do you want to shoot the nearest one to you? Okay, I'll go ahead and target it for you. All right, you've targeted Giant Rat 7. Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll using your crossbow. All right, you fire your bolt and it shoots overhead. Uh, overhead. And it misses the rat. Okay. So, with that, we are now into initiative. Let me just take a look at Mastodon here. So Mastodon, is your character all uh, made up? Um, I think so. I just don't have the languages. Um, I picked uh, chainmail. I think that was what the starting uh, armor was. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that you were always with the party. I'm adding you to uh, the party sheet. Uh, they just didn't notice you until now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You were there the whole time. You were there the whole time. Um, He's a sneaky boy. Let me see. Did you get added he to the probably combat have my tracker? Spot. probably have my spot in the marching order, and I'd stand beside the druid. I don't see you in the combat tracker, Mastodon. Let me just try to drag you in manually. Um, oh, that's because you're not on the party sheet. Let me just... Uh, yeah. Let me get you on the party sheet here. Okay, there you are. Now, if I click here, boom! Yes, good. Mastodon is in the combat tracker. And, uh... And he squished Thaddeus for some reason. Where is Thaddeus? Let me get your token out here. There. Okay. All right. Um, so yes, initiative. Uh, let us start with. Uh, I'm just going to go by the combat tractor ah, here. Uh, Mas Masto, what do you want to do for this round? You know what? Um. I guess I'll. Uh, I mean, I, I suppose I'll move up and try to. Uh, Ouch. Oh, yeah, try, to, try to block all the rest from coming in. Okay. Uh, by standing next to a uh, silver leaf. So do me a favor, and uh, in the combat tracker where you're now placed, please look for uh, yourself on the combat tracker. You're right now at the top, uh, and uh, click on the initiative for your longsword. That's what you're using, right? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and click it. Uh, no, you should have clicked the longsword. So uh, I'll I'll do it for you very quickly. There you go. I did the same thing. Yep. So that there's uh there's your initiative there. Are, are you okay with taking that initiative, um, Masto? Well, I'll let sure. you roll again. Go ahead and, and try to see if you can trigger the longsword initiative. Go ahead and roll. I'll let you take okay. whatever's better. Let me see. That would be uh, the yellow uh, one in under actions beside the longsword. Yes. Action. The yellow one. Gotcha. Uh, and you'll have to hold the alt key. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just because just he rolled it for you. There you go. Excellent. Okay, that's your initiative. All right, uh, Kador, what do you want to do this round? Oh, man. Uh, Kador, I guess, will... I don't know if I can get up to where the rats are, but maybe maybe I'll just kind of hang out behind the, the orc samurai and maybe try to poke through and stab a rat. Uh, so... If I have to roll initiative. That would be with a dagger. Yep, that would be. Okay, that's that's your initiative. Great, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, keep you on the turn order there. 
Next up is uh, good old Parent. What do you want to do this round, Parent? Parent rolls a three. But uh, the question I have for you is, which weapon do you want to use? Do you want to use the longbow, longsword, or neither? I didn't roll anything yet. Um, it was Parent or Joaquin? Or, or I'm, I'm working with uh, Parent right now. Oh, sorry, Joaquin. Yeah, I, I, missed, I missed Joaquin. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Joaquin. What are you, what, are you using longsword? Go ahead and roll initiative for the longsword if you're using it. Oh, oh Darcy, you should have your microphone. Um, can I go ahead and, and, oh, you're using magic missile. Okay, that's different then. Um, in that case, uh, Let's take a look at your character sheet and make sure that you have Magic Missile properly uh, prepped. I'm going to open your sheet up here, go to Powers, and go to Preparation. Oh! No, I can't hear you, Darcy. Um, it doesn't Not show. Try now, Darcy. It doesn't show your mic active. I'm going to go ahead and give you magic missile. Magic missile. Nope. 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 If you've been, been shooting with it, I think it takes out ammo. Like sometimes when you've been rolling those d20s for bunsies, it might have been tracking ammo. Yeah. yeah. But you were just shooting your crossbow up in the air for some reason. I don't know. That's maybe that's why the uh, the arrows are gone. <laughs> so so Darcy, I've uh, uh, memorized uh, magic <coughs> missile for you. So now you should hopefully be able to. Oops! You shot some... Joaquin. <laughs> you, you, you cut yourself down, um, but it's okay. I, I'll heal you up. Suicide. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was kind of rough. <laughs> it's rats. That was that was very unnecessary, Joaquin. All that violence. Um, okay. So 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 what you want to do? Wait, why what you want to do, Joaquin? I'm going to go ahead and target a rat for you. I'm going to say you're going to target the same. Well, what am I doing? You got You need to roll initiative first. Um, click on it. I'm going to roll initiative for your character. I'm going to roll initiative for your magic missile. There you are. Okay. Uh, you need to roll with the magic missile. <laughs> no, the magic missile has a casting time. Two is better. Yes. yes, two is better. So stick with two. Okay. Uh, on to yellow numbers. On to parent. You're gonna, You're gonna need to remove unconscious from from. Oh, him. thank you, thank you for oh, reminding me. Yeah, okay. thanks for reminding me. Let's go ahead. I'm reluctant to remove it, but I will this time. Okay. Uh, why won't I? Just, why won't I just have a small problem? I can't see the map on my screen. Like, we, the map is there, but I can't see the tunnel. We will get to you, Zlima. Parent, you're up next. What do you want to do? Um. Do I believe I can get a shot off at these things between without hitting people or no? Uh, if you can get off a shot before the rats close with the frontline melee fighters, you can. If they close with uh, the frontline me melee fighters, there is a chance you might hit your companions. But th I mean, they're going to be swarmed by rats. So it's it's like shooting fish in a barrel. All right. Well, then I'm gonna roll with my bow. All right, so you are choosing to take a shot with your longbow. Okay, now uh, we've already handled Masto. We've, we've done you. Uh, Thaddeus, what do you want to do? So Thaddeus, you are going to um, uh, take another crossbow shot, is that right? Well, I'm, I'm going to discount your attack because, uh, um, 
Well, what, what do you want to do? You want to use your bolo or you want to use your crossbow for this round? Okay, you successfully rolled initiative with your crossbow, so uh, I, I'm noting your crossbow attack. Uh, we're on to Samuel now. Doesn't it take two rounds to load the crossbow? He specialized, he gets that first shot. Sling. Sling. Go ahead and roll your initiative for the sling. Okay, uh, we, we handled you. Uh, Hanzo, have you rolled your initiative? Not yet, huh? So what's what are, what's your uh, what are you going to be doing for this uh, round, Hanzo? I'm trying to decide between flask of oil or throw lots of sharp things at them. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're going to go with that. All right, you are choosing to use your shurikens. Okay. Uh, Chandran, so uh, you see this this enormous mass of life descending down on you. Do you want to remain uh, hidden in shadows? Uh, how does it work? Does I do I stay hidden until my action occurs in the in it? Uh, roster? Yeah, yeah. I, I can rule that. You know, as long as you don't move or attack, you're hidden in shadows. Okay, but if I declare an action for automatic view, if if there before me, I still do it after. Yeah, so that's an excellent like question. Sorry. <laughs> um, if 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 you do it, if you declare an action, uh, and you you will remain hidden until you you do that action. So wherever you end up on the initiative round, yeah, it's not like you're going to reveal yourself right away. Okay. And uh, can I go over the rats? It's going to be attacks of opportunity. Oh, if you want to take attacks of opportunity, you certainly can. You're entitled to. Right, to so I'm getting ready to uh, different possibilities. If uh, they're faster than me, I'm. Uh, if you choose, to... if you choose to make an attack of opportunity, um, you can declare it whenever you want. Oh, sorry, sorry for them. Uh, it's just in case they pass me and I have to go through them to reach my party. Oh yes, they that will trigger attacks of opportunity. Uh, so right now I'm staying hidden until, and if possible, I'll run away and uh, cast Grease. Okay. Sure. I uh, will go ahead and give you, uh, so you're going to stay hidden, uh, and that's your action for the round, correct? Jandron? Hello? Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking. I'm, if, if I can go before the rats arrive, I'll run away, otherwise I'll uh, hide. Well, I, I, I can't, I, I, depends, depending on what, on what you do, it influences yeah. where you end up in terms of initiative. So obviously if you yeah. hide, you know, um, that's like your, your initiative zero. But if you were to cast a spell, you'd have to roll initiative for that spell. And what if he runs towards us? Because I think he mentioned wanting to do that That would as well. be just a straight initiative roll. That's correct. Straight initiative roll. <laughs> With your reaction adjustment. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, choose a running then. Okay, go ahead and give me a straight initiative roll. Just a d10. Just a d10? Yep. Okay, and then what is your reaction adjustment, if any? Plus two. Plus two, so... Down to a four. Four, correct. <coughs> uh, right. Let's go ahead and set you up with a four initiative on the tracker. There you go. All right, that takes care of you. Um... Slimer, you're up. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up, but I don't see the tunnel and I don't see the rats, like, in the map. Yeah, I don't see you um, yeah, I see on the you, uh, the map as well. Have you tried opening uh, well, and closing the image? I don't have them in the party tracker. I mean, I'm in the combat tracker for some reason, but I'm not in the party tracker for some. No, you just dropped weird. that. You just dropped that. Well, I, I see you in the combat tracker, uh, and I. Well, see... I'm in the party sheet too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I see you now. You should have access to the image as well. Uh, but let me go ahead and describe to you what you what you can see, uh, Slimer. 
So uh, your torchlight extends 15 feet uh, in front of you, and uh, all you can hear is a tremendous uh, splashing noise as if several creatures are descending upon the party. And that's basically all you can presently see from your position with your torch. Okay, Chandran cast, cast a grease, right? Or has he not done it yet? Chandran no, has not it. done Yeah, he's not done that. Anyway, we, okay. we can't communicate right now. Anyway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, so, can I move, like, forward? You could. You could move forward if you wanted to. Um, uh, so, what would you... Um, uh, like, you know the gap between Samuel and Hanzo? I'm gonna, like, wedge myself in between there. Samuel I'll and rats. Hanzo. Like, okay. right there. Right. So, uh, I'll tell you right now that Samuel is directly in front of you. And uh, beyond that square, you have Hanzo and Thaddeus. So I can move you there, sure. That if you yep, want to yep, go yep. ahead and make uh, that move, I'll, I'll move your token. And what do you want to yep, do yep, for yep. your action? Um, uh, I want to cast Shalele, so just so that I can like, like reinforce my, uh, what's it called, uh, my staff. Okay, so in that case, what I need you to do is I need you to roll initiative for Shalele off the combat tracker. Uh, yeah, will do. Excellent. Yep, there you go. Okay, so we'll we'll get around to you when you come up on the combat tracker, and I think that is everyone. So everyone has successfully rolled their initiative. Um, so with that, we are gonna dive into the round and find out what happens here. Uh, so right at the top, we're gonna start at Giant Rat Seven. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping it was dead now after a crossbow bolt. Giant Rat 7 uh, runs past you, Chandarin. Uh, do you take your attack of opportunity or do you let it go go past? Let it, let it go. Okay. Uh, I will I will say that the uh, this this man managed to get beyond the party over here. Uh, so let's see. How far did this move? All right. So it moves past you, Chandarin, and ends up facing uh, Thaddeus, and it will take a bite attack against Thaddeus. And miss. So that is uh, Giant Rat 7's turn. Uh, we're moving on to Giant Rat 9 now. Giant Rat 9 ends up next to you, Hanzo, and takes a fight attack action against you. If I can target you. <laughs> That's the best time you can't target me. Yeah, I know. Stupid keyboard. Come on. Come on, attack him. Why don't... Okay. You don't want to do that. It'll yeah, hurt you. Doesn't want to do that for some reason. There we go. All right. <laughs> It's it's been intimidated by your your. Really? Uh, <laughs> what is your AC, your Hanzo? Mask. Zero. Oh, you are so unfair. All right, so that <laughs> fat, like, you know, I mean, that 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 giant rat, you know, its teeth close wow. around your armor, but uh, uh you know, your your uh, your heavily armored plate uh, causes the attack to slide off harmlessly. All I right, get out of the way. What the hell's that? <laughs> Oh, and wait, no, no, when I have martial arts, it's going to be even lower. I know, I know, it's going to get worse. All right, so now what's happening, just so you guys know, as uh, tiny creatures, 10 of these rats can fit into a square. So, like, this tide of rodents boil up uh, and create, like, a mountain of uh, teeth and fur and claws around uh, Thaddeus. Changing and, actions. Uh, and um, Hanzo. This one fumbles its attack. We're now bites up itself. to bites itself. Uh, we're now up to <laughs> giant rat 18. Giant rat 18 joins its horde-like brethren and takes another attack against Thaddeus and misses. You know, good thing. Good thing you wore your armor, Thaddeus, for this one. 
<laughs> I know. I took away your armor when I was doing test battles. You guys, you were getting wrecked. So. <laughs> No problem. I'll handle your character for you. I, I, I promise not to get you uh, wiped. <laughs> All right. And, and All right. drops your weapons, falls in the, the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joaquin, well, you're up. Uh, so what you've, you what you've seen is uh, several rats um, emerge into the torchlight and immediately begin trying to uh, gnaw Hanzo and Thaddeus to pieces. Uh, you've readied a magic missile. And you're gonna fire off one, correct? Okay, I'll go ahead and target a rat for you, uh, Joaquin. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and target Rat Giant Seven for you. Oh. It's a rat giant, <laughs> not a cloud giant, but a, <laughs> a rat giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Let's target him. There we go. All right. Um, <laughs> You know, if you if you were on voice, this would be a little easier. But just to keep things moving along, I'll go ahead and cast magic missile for you. Uh, you know, and hopefully we can we can get you set up with uh, um, how to work this yourself. Your magic missile. Um, hold on, let me just take a quick look here under spells. Uh, right. So a glowing. Uh, arrow appears in front of uh, Joaquin, and he makes a gesture, and it shoots out into the darkness towards one of the rats, striking it, uh, doing substantial damage. Uh, and that is your turn, Joaquin. So with that, we're moving on to Giant Rat 3. And Giant Rat 3 uh, continues to try and do something to Hanzo on a critical 20. I was like, did he actually roll one? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> no, no, far from it uh, no. at the moment. Just trying to target you. That is turning into a mission impossible. In mission impossible. <laughs> My character is there dodging we go. the target. You can't Wait target me. You can't roll a hit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am a giant rat three, and I want to target you. This is where a burning hand smells would be awesome. Yeah, so I have Giant Rat 3 targeted here. And I, why, why can't I target you? Hold on, and 10 of these to a square, you're saying? So what's happening is, okay, maybe I know what's going on here, okay. There we go, finally. All right, that rat definitely missed you. Off the Giant Rat. 14, giant rat 14, comes and joins and takes another crack at you here, Hanzo, it attacks and misses, giant rat 10, attacks, joins the side that's attacking Thaddeus, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a attack roll here. Good, that worked. That misses. Giant rat number six comes up. And also joins the, uh, the party here to attack Thaddeus. Does that worked beautifully too. Misses as well. And with that, we're at Chandran. All right, so I'm running for it and using Tumble to uh, try to get through them. Okay, I'll, I'll rule that there's enough uh, headspace um, between the floor and ceiling to manage a, a tumble check. Um, so, uh, how far are you moving? What's your intended move here, Chandran? Uh, just to go the first uh, the available space behind a handle. Okay, go ahead and, and uh, make your intended. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and. Uh, Wait, aren't I supposed to be where uh, Hanzo is? Like, behind Hanzo? Not well, <coughs> not, not yet. Till your turn. <laughs> not till your turn. Oh, no. okay. Uh, no, so... wait, didn't I move in the last one? No, not, no, it's no, initiative. You, 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 
Yeah, you rolled initiative oh, okay. two move, but you haven't met okay, okay. your You haven't initiative. come up in the initiative sure. order. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Okay, so... I, uh, I don't think... I, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, back to you, Chandran. Um, yeah. uh, are you able yeah, I don't... to choose, like, a move for yourself, like, that I can approve, right? You should be I able to indicate... Too. Yeah. I did 30 it already. Feet. 30 feet. Okay, you got that on your character. Go ahead and make your tumble check for me, please. Uh, it's not a check, it's just automatically, if I don't do any attacks, I can get the uh, extra four armor class. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Excellent, Character okay. Practice, blah, blah, blah. The, the successful uh, check is if I fall. Okay, so that puts you at what, what's your AC then? That's gonna be two. Uh, your, your AC is, what is your AC right now? Uh, sorry, it's six. Six. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that uh, let's say four of these rats will attack you, uh, and yep. uh, uh, I'll just go ahead and give them a minus a minus uh, four for their for okay. their attack roll. So I'll just select okay. this guy and target you. Let's see. Yep. I got targeted there. Put a minus right, four. Let's see from the first death. Okay. First attack misses. Second attack hits. Ah. Thir third attack misses. And fourth and last attack misses. And from the attack that hits you, you'll take two points of damage. And I gotta do a quick check here. Oh, <laughs> wow. God. Okay. Did you actually? I was like, GM, did you roll 100 or D100? <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. Okay. And I'll go ahead and approve your move, and you end up there. So yes, as you vault over uh, the boiling uh, mass of rats, uh, several of them try to, uh, uh, you know, latch on to you, Chandran, uh, and one does manage to to bite your leg as you sort of vault over them. Uh, but you are able to eventually vault over them and land uh, besides Hanzo and Thaddeus and Samuel here. Perfect. All right, moving on to Kador. Kador, you're up. Yeah, now that there's a bunch of bodies in the way, um, Kador's not so sure about what to do anymore. He's got a dagger in hand. And, uh, the old man that was running towards us, is he kind of like amongst us now? Yeah, I, I, I kind of, you know, moved him. He did manage to get through you guys, uh, and you mercifully did not lop off this NPC's head because, you know, <laughs> quest guy. So uh, he's behind you. Okay. Um, man, there's not really a lot for Kador to do at the moment. He doesn't really have any melee or ranged weapon for You could throw your dagger. I've only got two. <laughs> That's Would true. you really want to throw your exceptional dagger? Yeah, it's it's expensive. Uh, and and you've Kador. seen you've seen that video of the rat carrying out the pizza, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kador Kador thinks about yeah. throwing Do his you dagger. Have in. any oil? Free actions, yelling. He he like remembers. He's like, I didn't buy oil in the store. Uh, I've got a bunch of fun stuff for downtime, not for for yeah. a sewer. Um. But uh, uh, Kador will pretty much just wait around. Uh, actually, let me see what I can do. Let's use some of our <laughs> fancy bardic abilities. Unless it has to be before combat starts, I think. Yeah, you guys got to take careful uh, uh, looks at your kits. It doesn't really work like it does in, in later editions. Certain kits, like for example, going Berserk, yeah. I didn't know this, to Berserk in AD&D 2E, and you need to spend 10 rounds getting into the move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I basically yeah. have to spend like 10 <laughs> rounds hyping people up with my musical yeah. ability first. Uh, I'm going to do something stupid, but why not? I'm going to jest at the rats to try to make them attack me. <laughs> Very um, cool. How does that work? Yeah. Just seems the art of projecting meaning. Oh wait, no, sorry. Uh, let's. 
I have some way to like provoke them. Let's see, is it the jokes? Ah, but they gotta know my language. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you can squeak at them. Yeah, he kind of just like shrugs and waits, holding up a dagger. If a rat comes close or runs by him, he'll stab it. But like, other than that, he's just kind of like encouraging people. He's like, yes, Hanzo, g great. <laughs> you know, good form. <laughs> keep slashing. He's like, keep all the rats on that side of you. <laughs> okay. All right. So sorry about that, Kador. Ah, no problem. I, it happens. I knew I did. Like, I could have taken dark proficiency, yeah. but I didn't. Well, I also I, in a hallway I, that's only 10 feet wide. I was going to say that, you know, the good DM here uh, has gone out of his way to make this difficult for you guys. All right. So um, with that, we are now on to Giant Rat 20. It takes an attack at Thaddeus uh, and misses. Moving on. Giant Rat 13. Oh, can he reach the party? Let's see. It's kind of far away. That is, yep, no, he's, he's all good. He can definitely reach you guys. So he's going to take a crack at Thaddeus, hoping for that delicious natural 20. And he gets a one instead. So <laughs> Bites himself again. Yeah, bites himself again. <laughs> These rats, they're very excited. Giant rat 12 will go and pile on to the Zerg around Thaddeus and take an attack. And unfortunately, he hits natural 20 on Thaddeus. Oh. So, there we go. And the damage to Thaddeus Ouch. is moderate. Um, and, uh, guys, how do you roll, like, a, a D100 in chat? I'm struggling with this. Yeah, I think uh, it's, uh, it's uh, die 100? Two ten. Two tens. Decide which one on the 10. I right got it. The 10. I got it. Okay. Both percentile dice. Yep. I got yep. the percentile dice. It's working for me. Okay. So that's uh, that round. That that giant rat uh, manages to get through Thaddeus' defenses and inflicts a terrible bite on him. Uh, so that is uh, that's what happened right there. Giant rat 19 comes back up to Hanzo. Hopes for the natural 20. Yeah. Poor poor Thaddeus did not deserve it. Let's go for. Hanzo here. Why can I not target Hanzo? Hanzo All here. things considered, I think we're in a not too terrible situation. Our, our meat shields are, are pretty solid. Uh, and once we get that grease up, we can kind of have a rat barbecue. All right, we're now on to Rat Giant 16. Bold is attack. Again, uh, Hanzo has the luck of Timora with him. All these rats miss, and now we are on to the, God. the <laughs> mysterious Masto. Yeah. Can I uh, move to this spot here and get a clean hit on seven? Yes, you can. All right. Hey, we could have had two paladins. Yeah. So I'll go. Still ahead. can. I can <laughs> let a rat through. It would not take long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you would like to take an attack at one of the rats next to Thaddeus, is that right, Masto? Yep. Okay, go ahead and target that rat if you know how. Uh, it's control click. Okay. Oh, look at that. You're a pro. Roll your damage. Four. Yeah. Okay. The minus one yeah. is wrong though. Yeah, I should I should take a look at that on, under your character sheet. He's Let probably me. encumbered. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Uh, Master, right. you, you stride forward and uh, swing out your longsword, and again, it's like uh, shooting fish in a barrel. You feel yourself connect with one of the rats and feel like you've done some damage there. Uh, let me just take a quick look at your character sheet to make sure that uh, everything is set up right for your actions. Uh, sure. You're at minus one. That's because you don't have a proficiency applied. Uh, you have a longsword. Um, are you specialized in anything, uh, Masto? No, um, um, it said that at level one that I only got four choices, and certain ones were required, such as lance. Uh, but um, so I picked lance, longsword, warhammer, horseman's oh. flail, because it's just to be good at uh, riding horses. <laughs> oh, you're, Hello, you're a paladin. Okay. Uh, all yeah. Right. Yep. Good. I am the, the cavalier. I am the Captain America or <laughs> Superman type. You know, very the nice. Very nice. So your your attacks have been set up now. So when you roll your next longsword attack, it will not be at a minus one. 
Uh, cool. But well, good round. You inflicted, I think, the first uh, casualty on the enemy. Casualty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oops. Uh, now we are at Hanzo, and everyone's gonna freak out when Hanzo does his thing. If he uh, uses only his if katana. I hit something. Yeah. <laughs> so how many attacks do you get with um, the Four. shuriken? Four. Yeah. Are you serious? I had to go look. Yeah, they're the same <laughs> as dark. Okay, wow, roll your damage for this first jerkin. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, 13. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you see uh, a rat um, flying the next one in the pieces. pile. Okay, go ahead and target the uh, your next target. I don't know what the next one in the pile is. Oh, you can't see it? I, there's, they're all in the same pile. No, I, I'll so I don't just, know which one's next. Sure, I'll go ahead and, and, uh, and just, uh, reveal them for you. Let me know if you can see the rest of the rats. You should be able to target them. There you go. Oh, Just give it a second. Yep. Go ahead ah, and... There we go. Yep. I was going to think, how many are there? <laughs> I picked that one. Okay. Your, your second shuriken misses. Roll for your third attack here. Third attack misses. Fourth attack. 19. Nice. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. You... you, you, you uh, Throw out a brace of shurikens and, and two giant rats uh, fall into two two different pieces. Well done. Uh, so that is, I believe, your round. The Forty shurikens. <laughs> <laughs> you have to realize my carrying weight is four hundred and eighty-five pounds. Holy so, Jesus Christ! I have what a nineteen heck? strength. When I said I could pick up the dwarf and carry him or toss him, I was not joking. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, Hanzo, did you pay for all that? Did you like go through the your? Uh... I did. I have seventeen copper. Excellent. <laughs> I am impressed. Well done. Well done. Because right. I'm not allowed to have more than one gold at the end. <laughs> all right. So uh, next up is Giant Rat Five. It's going to take a fight at Hanzo after seeing him shish kebab his brothers and miss, unfortunately. Going to Giant Rat 4. And Giant Rat 4 <coughs> surges forward. And it take, attacks Hanzo 2. And misses. And now... Did I miss one too? Does anyone want to give him the bad news? Uh... <laughs> I don't want to give him bad news. Okay, so one of the rats chomped you and scored a natural 20 and gave you some moderate damage. So. Oh, that's, that's exactly my job. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm earning. I'm earning. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, this is uh, Giant Rats two, Two's round, attacks Hanzo and misses. Next up, we're a Giant Rat 1. Giant Rat 1 joins the pile around Hanzo and attacks. So just, you know, the plan is grease or oil in front of us and then light it with a torch. Giant Rat 5. And this has been verbalized? I have... It's been verbalized has said it. times. Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> oil. Who has oil? We said it in Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Giant Rat 15 misses an attack, attack on Thaddeus. We're now at Giant Rat 17. I no. taunt him. Giant Rat 17 joins the pile around Thaddeus. And takes an attack and misses. Who's gonna? Whose torch are we gonna use? Now, oh, now we're at Slimer's turn or Ale's yeah. turn. Oh, I've been waiting for some time for this. Uh, <laughs> so wait, can I go? Can I go next to Hanzo? Uh, there is not enough space for you to. Well, what you can do, uh, Slimer, is you can move next to uh, Chandra uh, behind Chandra. Thaddeus. There's behind space there for you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll move there. Uh, and um, can I attack with my. Um, yeah, with my uh, blowgun at uh, one of the. At one of the piles in front of Thaddeus? As at one of the rats in front of Thaddeus? Um, yes, you uh, can. Yes, uh, you but can. there is a chance uh, that you might hit Thaddeus. Oh, yeah. God. Should I take the risk, little man? Mm, no. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, in, no. That, in that case, no, no. In that case, I cast Bless on Thaddeus since he is having a hard time. 
<laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, I think Bless is a radius spell, actually. Yeah, it's it gets everyone. Cube. So let me go ahead and make that cube for you. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's a 50 foot cube. That's a giant freaking cube. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wait, do I end up blessing the rats too? No, no, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, Two spells are selective. All right, so uh, you basically are... get the entire party. Zlimer, just to make it easier, uh, do, can you see your your uh, your uh, um, companion's tokens around you, Zlimer? Oh yeah, I can see the I can see my companion's tokens. I can see the uh, rats and the beginning of the tunnel too now. Yeah, I saw that in chat, Joaquin. I can talk to you about that later. Uh, I have a different interpretation of that rule, uh, so I'm happy to share with you my thoughts about why uh, Hanzo has an 18 strength. Um, so can you see your 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 uh, your companion tokens again, Slimer? Uh, yeah, I can. I can. Go ahead and control click on all of them so that they're targeted by you. Uh, it says it's only those not engaged in melee combat. For bless? Yeah. Really? Let me do a Well, that would be really? everyone but us two. <laughs> Furthermore, it raises their attack dice roll by plus one. A blessing, however, affects only those not engaged in melee combat. Wow! Not already engaged in melee Wow, combat. thank you for that. Okay, so basically, Hanzo, Thaddeus, That's and Masto, all the guys who need it, do not get it. Yeah. But uh, give it to everyone else. <laughs> No, 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 that's, 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 that's perfect. Or you can bless a weapon or something. Can I bless uh, Thaddeus' weapon, his crossbow? Bless your shield. Bless your shield. Okay. Uh, yeah. how, do I, how do I target the shield selectively? You just oh, yeah, say and I'm something. not able to target them. Okay, so I, wait, so I, if I bless his shield, is it only his shield or is it still the 50 foot radius? So, uh, the thing is, you can only... Okay, I'm confused at this point. So, to blessing an item is dependent upon mm -hmm. the weight. So, uh, the weight of the item is limited to one pound per caster level. So, if it's more than one pound, then you cannot bless that item. Ah, okay. So, that shield is just... Blesses. Just bless everyone else. That, that yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. else blessed isn't that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, go ahead and target Chandran. Samuel, Kador, Karen, great, You're doing a good job. Excellent. Then you have Joaquin Phoenix, and uh, I think that's it, right? I think so. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on the button that says cast, and then click on the button that says effect next to it, uh, Slimer, to fire off your spell. Boom, okay, excellent. Uh, so you cast, now click on the effect to make sure that everyone here has uh, received. Okay, Wait, excellent. I clicked on the effect. Have they received it? Yep. Yeah, they have. Yep. Good. Good job. Okay, excellent. Uh, so you, that is, you move forwards and uh, you draw into your druidic powers. And uh, yeah, with you, that, you just, you, you just see little, just like little stink coming out of me and it's like blessing everyone. Correct. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> Um, you just see swamp gas coming out of me. That's what you see. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Well done. That's a good brown slimer. Okay, moving on to uh, Samuel. You're up. All right. So, are any of them not on the frontline fighters, or? Uh, let's see. No, they're all swarming around the fighters, and it looks like. The rats around Thaddeus might break through and uh, try to swarm past Masto. All right, well, I will try to <coughs> belt one of them with a sling bolt with my newly blessed sling. All right. Uh, TJ, you got to help me out here. So sure. firing into melee for tiny-sized creatures. Um, uh, they're swarm, so if he's... Eh, they count as... One smaller, but he's a dwarf. Minus two. One. Minus one. <laughs> right, but so, in, ter in terms of hitting... If like he hits him, yep. so if if he rolls to hit, and he hits bang on, 
he would hit the rat. If he misses by one, he actually hits the dwarf. If he misses by more than one, it goes flying down the hallway. Okay. All right. Nice. Uh, go ahead and target one of the rats. It's the dwarf. If he goes, if it's Maester or I, it's different because <laughs> we're taller. <laughs> All right, Sam. You'll go ahead and target one of the rats. <coughs> Excellent. You targeted Giant Rat 18. Uh, give me a, a bullet shot from your sling. Go ahead and roll your attack. Eight. Okay. Uh, any any chance to hit uh, Thaddeus there, uh, TJ? Uh, no, AC 12. No, unless those rats were AC 11. Okay. Excellent. So you're, you're, you take a mighty swing with your, your sling. Uh, and unfortunately, your bullet shoots over the, the melee uh, down further into the uh, tunnel ahead. Uh, and that's your round, Samuel. Moving on to Perrin. Perrin. Yeah, all right. Um, so can I move and take my shot over to, like, here? Yes, you can. I'll shoot go ahead over the dwarf. That. Okay. The dwarf, the dwarf is Thaddeus, right? Yes. Yeah, so, that's what so I did. I yeah, gotta I'll say, you, you have to be in a square, so I'll put you over here. Uh, and you okay, can go ahead me. and take your shot. So okay. I guess I will target. Uh, let's see. Uh, Excellent. Eight. All right. He's alive, right? And Oops. Wrong, wrong <laughs> dice. Wrong dice. That no, wasn't even me. Oh, no, oh. I, I also think that you don't <laughs> have uh, eight targeted. I don't see you have a target on your character. Yeah, sheet. I'm. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get him targeted. It's not letting me target the one I want. Like, I, I have an X on him. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's weird. Go ahead and try to target him again. Yeah, it's showing. If you can't do it, if you look at the combat tracker, I can use mine. Oh, wait. Right? Hang <laughs> on. That was on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your long sword. So you need to fire your longbow. Oh my gosh! Pull the wrong one. Uh, that one. <coughs> okay. Um, <laughs> All uh -huh. right. You pull. You pull back on your longbow and loose an arrow into the melee. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it, it uh, shoots wide, along with um, Samuel's uh, bullet. Uh, and zips down the corridor. And with that, question. Don't uh, bows Bones get two attacks in TOE? Yeah. They, they do, do, but he'll get his second attack after Thaddeus. Yeah. So, gotcha. Thaddeus, you're up. Thaddeus takes a bad shot at the closest living rat. Oh, that reminds me, actually. In fact, thank you for that. Hanzo should have taken his shuriken attacks. Uh, after Thaddeus as well. Oh, she, she should have just gotten one. That was my mistake. I'll remember that next time. I'll remember that as well. Yeah. All right, Thaddeus, you're up. Nice. Go ahead and uh, this is your crossbow, correct? Correct. How did you miss? That couldn't have missed. I don't think you had a rat targeted. Uh, let's just take take a look. He's yeah, you were targeting oh. yourself. So that 15 yeah. would have hit. Uh, so let me go ahead and target a rat for you. Um, and you should have rolled plus two. So rat eight. Okay, I see rat eight there. Let me go ahead and target him for you. Uh, I'm assuming you're mean? specialized, correct? I am specialized, yes. And you get plus two to hit with a inside point blank range, which was zero oh, to 30 feet. Yeah, so just click the plus two on the bottom. That's true. And because uh, the rats had just closed this round, it's not considered like, a, you know, yep. you can get that shot off before uh, having to switch up to a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, sense. thank you again for that reminder about the plus two for point blank range. Um, yeah. You have giant rat targeted. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, roll, yeah, roll the damage. Yeah, 
What was that? Uh, roll your damage, uh, red mage, off your uh, crossbow. I'm working on it. <laughs> Excellent. All right. As the, the the boiling mass of fur closes in on you, you fire. You manage to get off a bolt that goes straight through one of the rat's uh, throats and s kills it, uh, stone dead. Uh, and with that, we're back up to Perrin for your second uh, longbow attack. Okay, noted. All right, so now we're on to Perrin. So I'll take yep, a hit on there um, you go. the next one, line 18. Shot yep. hit, right? Yep. yep. Go, ahead and roll, uh, go ahead and roll your damage for red 18. Boom, excellent Perrin. So uh, nice. your, your first arrow shoots wide. Your second arrow is now on the mark and your, your arrow goes straight through a giant rat's head, uh, slaying that foul beast. Uh, well done. Uh, and with that, I think we are at the, uh, the end of the round, moving into round four. So I'll go ahead and uh, get us there. Uh, and there we have, uh, the NPCs have already automatically rolled their initiative, which is very helpful to me. Uh, so we'll just start at the top with uh, the characters. Uh, Shandrin, what do you want to do? I'm casting uh, Grease in front of the th the three fighters. Okay, please uh, roll your initiative for Grease. It's plus one. Good Excellent. Work. Okay. Uh, Hanzo, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna... I was like, I don't have a torch. Do I get minus oh, two? No, 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 I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I have a torch on me. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was that? Uh, who was speaking just a while ago? Uh, sorry, it's Chandoran. Do oh. I get I minus get... two for that? Did I not set it up right? Or... No. No? Because okay. you actually use an item, you don't get the reaction bonus. Okay. What item? Is this so spell? Because you're actually items. using the spell. It, it, okay. The other one was you were just running away. So okay. pure movement. You get your reaction bonus. Otherwise, it only counts towards surprise initiative rolls. Thank you. TJ, I'm not having any adventure sessions without you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we do. We're the guys that use the knockout rules and punching a lot. So we had to have those tables in our heads to make it worthwhile. Nice. Uh, I'm going to smash a flask of oil on the ground. That's what you're doing. Okay. Yep. So directly in front of you, I guess? Yeah. Just that outside. is going to affect uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight giant rats. Okay. okay. Uh, go uh, ahead and uh, make your attack roll for that oil flask. Okay. Do you want me to attack roll or initial roll? Oh, sorry. Yes, the initiative roll. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, just a one? Um, I don't know. What... Yeah, there's, a, there's, there's actually a... Let me just quickly look this up since um, I meant that I do not know. Yeah, I, I, I have the modifier somewhere here. Just let me just pull it up very quickly. I'm just going to say that it's the same as uh, a potion, um, which would be potion. Eight. Potion is plus four. Go ahead and roll uh, plus four on uh, initiative. Show up on your end because it, it did not boring. did not show up Fine. on my end. No. Here, I'll just do that. Okay, that works. So I'll give you a 13 on your initiative. There we go. Okay, thank you, Hanzo. Uh, Perrin, what's your action for the round? Uh. Well, since I was successful shooting through the other group, I will do the same thing. Okay, so we'll go ahead go and... With that. Excellent. Okay, so you are now on the initiative tracker. Samuel, what's your action for the round? Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Kane, do you want to heal or do you want me to hold off? Hold off for the time being. Okay, I will uh, plan a move and another sling bolt. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your initiative for the sling. Excellent. Okay. Mysterious Masto, what, you, what is your uh, action for the round, sir? Same thing. I'm just going to target another rat. And okay. Try Give to me kill uh, it. an initiative roll on your longsword. Nope. That's an attack roll, but a good one. <laughs> Damn, it's a waste. <laughs> waste of those. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Masto. Uh, yep. Thaddeus, what do you? What's your uh, um, action for the round here? Thaddeus is way ahead of me. He's rolling with the club. Are you sure you want to attack? Oh yes, that's right, because you have proficiency in the club, yeah. of course. Okay. All right. Just so you are aware, this is also with my martial arts, so my AC has dropped by three. I am at AC one. Uh, well, we're gonna put aside martial arts just for the time being. So you are using an attack action with your club. Your AC is as of right now unchanged. It would change if you parried, okay? Uh, so, <laughs> You'll parry? Yeah. Okay, You're par then in that case, I'll, I'll uh, take that as your initiative roll. Thank you, uh, Thaddeus. Uh, Kador, you're up. Yeah, Kador, so I'm a little, I, I guess I misunderstood. I see Manda, uh, Masto is kind of like hung out there on the side, like on that ledge around the water. Can I get around to the other side and maybe uh, hang out next to Hanzo? Would so, I have to, like, so, squeeze? so the reason why he can get there is because uh, there is actual square space that allows him to move there. Uh, next to Hanzo is only a, a, uh, a wall. So you're at the, the limits of the corridor where you presently are. Yeah, yeah, I already tried that. I tried that once. Okay, cool. Sorry I wasn't listening. Um... I mean, oil. there's not much. He yells at oil. I don't, I don't have any. I'll, th I'll gladly throw some more. <laughs> Is there oil in your pack? Can I, can I pull it out and, like, throw it down? Because, uh... Oh, we should be good with what we have. Yeah. Uh, no, uh... What, I, what I can like say, a... what I can say is, if you were to take an, an oil flask out of a party member's pack, you could throw it onto the spot next to Thaddeus, um, potentially. Oh, I don't like that word. <laughs> you could <laughs> try. <laughs> no, well, no. Hansa also has to try. I mean, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, someone was already throwing oil, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, but it only affects a five foot square, so if you want to get on. I affect it head by ten with grease. So wait, is it, isn't the grease flammable? Yes. Yeah, so there's grease on one side and. Uh, oh, grease should get them all, I'm just doing extra. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Kador's. These guys have it in hand. He's just going to kind of like lean up against the stone wall and like. You know, like clean his fingernails or whatever, and just like keep being like, yeah. One on the left, one on the left. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that you one. almost got him. Keep it well, up, guys. I, I thought, you know, I, I personally imagine you showing off your exceptional daggers to everyone, saying, you know, I could really use these if only a, you know, rat came a little bit closer. I'd get him. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see a rat try and bite me. <laughs> That's right. Tear <laughs> him. Cleaned his, uh, he just cleaned his daggers. There's only 30 of them in the, in the water. Right, or these rats for that matter. They're they're too good for these rats. All right, Alice, you're up. What what's what's your uh, action for the round? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so I can see that um, one uh, Chandran is gonna cast grease, right? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I called it out. Uh, so, yeah. So can I like put my fire? Like, can I just like put the torch over where the grease is gonna be cast? And like, can I just like drop it once it's done? Uh, you can throw your torch, uh, but again, yeah, you know, okay. when that happens, uh, that's really sort of up to where you end up on initiative. Um, on 2e, just use it as hold action, which means you automatically go very last. Okay, yeah. wait, where do I, where do I, how oh, do I do that? Oh, you just go last. You don't have to roll anything. Oh, okay. So, but I get to you just do have that. To, that is your action, is to toss the torch. That is but it. Even if he 
he throws it before, it's still gonna ignite for the couple of seconds that it takes me to cast the spell. Uh, I mean, I think it would be smarter to do it after the grease and the oil, so that just like it ignites completely. So yeah, I'll 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 do that. I'll hold action and I'll I'll toss okay. it at the end. Like, can we check with the DA with the GM because if. If at my turn I put the grease and it ignites, it's gonna kill all the rats and reduce the number of attacks on the guys in the front. No wait, that's yeah, that's a plan. Except it's in, once the grease, instead of waiting for the grease to drop, because there's water on the sewer, I suppose. So if I drop sure. it, if I just drop it without any grease over there, it's just gonna like, like uh, blow out the torch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're right. You're right. So it would be more sensible to wait for the grease and the oil and then drop the fire fire down. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I'll I'll hold action and wait for both of them. Like I'll I'll wait at the ex I'll start I'll I'll drop the torch at the ex extreme end of the combat. Sure. Let's be honest. Okay. Let's be uh, honest. Anyway, they're they're going. For, they don't have to add a weapon speed. They're probably gonna go before us anyway. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Sure. I'm I'm noting that you're holding your action and and by the way, uh, I think that was whoever was you know. Uh, explaining about the, the value of killing the rats faster. That was a good point. But uh, yes, yep. water in the sewers could potentially put a damper on that plan. Uh, our only yep. torch that's lit at the moment. Yeah. All right. So um, light a second torch. <laughs> so Kador, we went through you. Samuel, we went through you. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, um, you're up. Can anyone hear Darcy? No. Nope. Darcy, Darcy. I mean, that's weird. I mean, how? Oh, it's not working. He has a mic, right? He has a mic, right? Come he... on. You uh, must I be, stole the mic. You I must just be, don't know. You must be Discord swimming in money from Star Hat Miniatures. Buy yourself a better mic or a computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. He has a mic, but it's not working. That's all. Oh, oh, Darcy, you're killing me. You're rolling an attack roll. You need to roll an initiative roll for your longsword if you're using it. So the initiative roll is across from the attack the attack roll. It uh yes. Okay. He should have already he's already rolled his initiative. <clears throat> oh has he? Oh yeah. Very, like way back up at the beginning. Oh, I'm very sorry. Then that's it that's was fine. a nine. It was a nine, thank you. Yeah. I, I'm very sorry about um, my apologies with uh Darcy. Uh, I'll just set you up with a nine there. Uh yeah. Perrin Yeah <laughs> Perrin Perrin has rolled Masto has rolled. Uh, Hanzo has rolled. Okay, good. Uh, in that case, we are then at the top of the uh, combat round. Giant Rat 9 is very dead, so <laughs> we're moving on to Giant Rat uh, 20. And Giant Rat 20 will uh, target Masto and take a fight at Masto because Masto decided to get all uppity. And. Uh, Get him out of there. Giant rat. Yeah, no worries, man. It's going to be a little bit while. Uh, trying to target. Where's Masto here on the combat tracker? There you are. Excellent. Okay. Giant rat uh, 18 takes a big uh, 20, makes it, takes a big bite and misses. Giant rat 17 will also take a bite at uh, Masto and miss. And giant rat 12. We'll take a bite at Thaddeus. Where's Thaddeus on the combat tracker? Where are you? There you are. Oh, you're already targeted. Excellent. Good. And in hit. Well, okay. Roll damage. Heavy. Okay. So uh, Giant Rat 12 again gets through Thaddeus' guard, bites him, and Thaddeus is starting to look a little rough. Uh, Giant Rat 12 will, 11, sorry, will attack Masto. And miss. Giant Rat 10 will attack Thaddeus. And miss. Giant Rat 3. Oh, no, sorry, we're not a Giant Rat 3. Giant Rat 3 and Giant Rat 18 are both already dead. We are now on to Chandran. 
So I cast Grease in front of two uh, fighters okay. in the corridor. All right. Ten by ten. Uh, so I want you to mark off a pork rind from your sheet. Yeah. Uh, so you consume that. And uh, let's see, how does it work? It's a uh, ten by ten AOE. <laughs> uh, did you already did you already draw the AOE yourself? Um, I did not. I'm not too good at that. Uh, the pointers. The four. I think the four squares. Are part of it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I can do that for you. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So. Oh, um, oh. Yeah. So that's rough. Five feet. Oh, excellent. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. My knife east. This. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ups ah. and days. Yeah. Well, roughly like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, ex right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, go ahead and cast your spell. Um, let go ahead and target everyone. You have already done that. Good, yeah. Chandran. Excellent. <laughs> now for the fun part. How many yeah. saves? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be... I I don't see Do it back? I don't see It doesn't look like you have the rats targeted to me. I could no. be wrong. I see it on the image, I but I don't see it on the good. combat tracker, which is Yeah, weird. yeah, there we go. Now they're showing up. Okay, go ahead yeah. and target them all. Yep. Okay. Do I need to give you grease again? No, it still counts. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, so cast or effect? Cast and then effect. Yep. Yep. They work? No. No, you need to click on effect now. Doesn't do anything. What's it saying? It's not memorized. Or give it oh, time, give right. it time. Yeah, give it time. Oh shit. Yeah, sorry, I clicked on effect too, so it's gonna go off twice. My apologies. Yeah. Oh baby. But yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to process all this. Nah. Fairy fire. Entangle. That's not a cleric spell. Create water. Because it's first level with A D D. Cause fear. I it depends on the campaign. <laughs> I'll go with that one. Oh no. Red, uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, we crashed upon uh, the cast of that spell. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I'm booting up the campaign again. Um, and hopefully yeah. everyone can rejoin. Uh -oh. So yeah, yeah. We, we are getting a little bit over time, but hopefully we can get to this encounter soon. And uh, I think we should just re like once he comes back in, we should be all good. Because yeah. it'll eventually kick us out. Oh yeah. Goes. There you go. Yeah, and once it restarts, it will. Sorry about well, that, sorry. guys. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm just amused because it seems like uh, Kador is just going to have uh, the easy street to, to. What you call it? Fame and fortune. Yeah. I just like it because the, the spells all fail, they, they all slip and slide, and they'll get their attacks this round. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
Who, who has the open mic there? I think it's Zlimer. Zlimer? Wait, my mic's open? Zlimer. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. How did my mic get open? What the heck? <laughs> it was not open up to now. What? <laughs> okay, I'm 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 weirded out. How the heck? That was the joke. Yeah. You should have left that go go a little longer. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh wait, it's wait. Give what the heck? Okay, I just checked my I checked my settings. It showed that it is push to talk, and somehow. Wait, give me a second. I, I, I think that fixed it. Yep. All right. Uh, let me know when everyone's back into the uh, instance here. It'll take a I second to load. In. Yeah, every, especially with us all loading in at the same time. Yep. That is correct. Because of Hamachi. Gotta love a satellite. So is that the reason we're running on the Hamachi VPN? We are using Hamachi. I think it's. Because I cannot forward my ports, which would have allowed you to log in without it. It's uh, blocked by my ISP, I believe. Welcome to satellite. Yeah. Wait, now no, I'm pushed to talk, I think. Okay. Yep, yep, okay. yep. All right, uh, Chandran, whenever you're back in, go ahead and cast your spell again. Okay. But they already failed all their saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Actually, one of them saved. All the rest did fail. Because <laughs> that's how many fails there were. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. I never I, I never saw anything in the chat regarding uh, anyone making saves. All the effects kicked in, and they watched save, 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 fail, save, save, save. It's like, fail, fail, I saw fail, most fail, of them fail, get, fail. I, I saw most of them fail Grease like three times. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they mostly failed, but I saw one. <laughs> Success. I just don't know if it was on the first set, the second set, the third set. <laughs> okay, no one touched the effect button. That's all Chandran's uh, territory. Yep. And you just click it once, brother. Click, click it once. Yep. Can I load up the map again? Now I see all the tokens, but now I gotta wait for everything else to load in. All right, Chandran's ready to crash the game again. Hopefully not. The only yeah, I, don't, I don't see myself. Don't, I see, I see, I don't mean. Don't worry, Slimer. It, it might all yep. be uh, irrelevant, depending upon how this cast goes. We might all yeah, get no, booted back, back to desktop. Oh my god, I gotta let it all load first. first. <laughs> if you don't see your character, close the um, character window and reopen it. Oh, I think it may crash again. Nope. Huh? The, the effect has gone off. Now That's it has so? to wait to, like, on their turn. Oh, there we go. Roll. Yeah. Perfect. Because it'll only affect the rats that have yet to go. Oh, is that how it works? You don't need to... Yeah. On their turn, it should automatically roll their save. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. All right. So, Chandran, that's your, your turn. I'm so glad we did not crash. <laughs> uh, victory for us. Oh, it's kind of lagged. Okay, let me just make sure that... So, yes, that's right. You cast it and you, you press the effect. Okay, I get it. So, Thaddeus, you're up. Beat him with the stick. So, are, are, are they all greasy now? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. essentially what happens is Chandran takes out a pork rind, 
uh, and uh, throws it up in the air. It, it burns away. And uh, just in front of you, uh, Thaddeus, you see the, the um, sewer water begin to bubble and blacken as this, uh, this um, uh, pool of grease uh, appears out of nowhere, covering the, uh, the, the swarm of rats in front of you. Nice. Okay, you take out your 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 large shield and, and slam it to the ground, uh, and it basically covers your your entire body. You being a dwarf, uh, and you brace yourself against uh, the in, on the uh, upcoming inferno that uh, might blossom in front of you. Is that? I can say you can take an attack roll with your club and uh, do that, you know, you want to make an attack roll? Go ahead and target a giant rat. Okay, go ahead and target uh, giant rat 13. Uh, 12, AC 8, these are AC, what is the AC of these guys, AC 7. So you just missed by one, unfortunately. Uh, so you swing out your club. Uh, don't manage to connect with anything, but then you put down your shield and get ready to, to brace, okay? Roger. All right. Giant rat number two uh, gnaws at Hanzo's face. Or tries to. Oh, did it forget to make its date three spell? Yeah, I didn't see it do a save. Yeah, weird, no? Uh, just save versus spell. Maybe you have to roll it. Okay. Yes. Now yeah. during the cast, is it during the cast that it happens? Yeah, it says it starts its turn under the effect. Which would be... Oh, look at that. Yes, you're right. Thank you for pointing that out to me. So yeah, it's greased. And uh, let's figure out what exactly is the consequences of being greased again? It falls down, can't move, has to get back up. Once it gets back up, it gets to try to make a save again. <laughs> Otherwise, it stays there. Oh, wow. And it's also extremely, extremely flammable. Yep. Yeah, dude, Grease is an amazing spell. Uh, it slips, skids, falls. They had to nerf uh, it in the other editions. Cause the best so part awesome. is the rats that save, their wow. intention is to move backwards oh, this out is, of the Grease spell. This is fantastic. Any creature entering the area or caught in it, the spell is cast, must save versus spell, or slip, sk slip skid, and fall. Wow. Yep. Right. Okay, all right, so ja Giant Rat number two wants to gnaw Hanzo's face off, but uh, falls and slips in the, uh, the pool yep. of grease that has appeared around it. Uh, with that, we're moving on to Giant Rat number three. We'll go ahead and roll its save, which it fails. It also falls to the ground, and now we're at Kador's turn. All right, they have so... To get 19 fast. Kador's gonna, you know, do a little bit more cheerleading. This is like, uh, you know, you well could done. throw a dagger. You could whip a dagger, man. Uh, Just for the fun of it. <laughs> I'd say do That's it, fair. man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. he'll he'll throw his dagger. He he thinks most of the rats are gone, and that way no one can tell him that. Uh, <laughs> Until his dagger's about to be caught in a fireball. <laughs> yeah, but it's metal. It'll They're exceptional. Fine. They're gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit somebody. Go ahead and and target. What? Go ahead and target any rat you want to attack. Yeah. Actions. Let's do a throw. And then it's control. Control click, correct, on any of the rats that you can see in front of you. Um, hmm. Why is it plus four? Oh, because it's a missile he attack. Has high my deck. Bonus. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely hit. Um, so go ahead and roll your, your uh, damage. And he's blessed. Oh, uh, damage. 1d4. Pierce. Uh, he... Four damage. Oh. <laughs> Killed <Okay>. that rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, uh, which rat did you intend to target? Uh, um, oh, I just pointed, so I guess it <laughs> ended up picking... Rattle number 13. 13? There we go. 13? Okay. 13. 
All right, I'll go ahead and add that damage to Rat 13. You did four, correct? All right. Yep. So uh, Kador, you know, was was thinking of cheerleading, but he, he thinks uh, that this round he's actually going to save the party and uh, throws <laughs> out a beautiful dagger that hurtles through the air and uh, thuds into a rat, killing it dead. All right. <laughs> Didn't that my, feel my better? Your work here is done. Your work is Kador. done. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're on to rat number five with that. So uh, it's going to go ahead and make it save. Fails. So that's its turn. Rat number six is up. Save. Fails. Rat number 19 is up. 20. It's fine. There you go. And Rat 19 gets to do something. So it saves. So its motion is to get out of the grease spell, and the only way it can move is back. Really? It says... yeah. Hold on. I got to check this out. I got to read this up. Those who it successfully does. save can reach the nearest non grease surface by the end of the round. Does that mean it's only at the end? No. Okay. So basically, it, it depends on what the creature wants to do. It can True. either. I'll give you that one. Yeah. So. Um... It's going to, being this berserk little giant rat, it's going to try and uh, not on Hanzo's face. So, Hanzo, you better watch out. Here comes, yeah, I'm watching. Here comes uh, Mr. Probably giant Rat. This He's like, I hate those lawyers. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number eight misses. Okay. Giant Rat number 19 gets to make a save. And, wow, 19. Oh, we can't see it. There you go, it saves. Thank you. Wow. Well, I don't know why it didn't. Oh, there we go. It was a delay. It was just delayed. Oh, yeah. So giant Rat number 19, uh, Giant Rat 1, sorry, joins uh, Giant Rat 19 in trying to uh, munch on Hanzo. If I can target Hanzo, Hanzo is proving well, very resilient. Good, okay. good dice are wasting it on the saves. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, Giant Rat 1 fails to uh, get through Hans' defenses. And with that, we are on to Samuel. Uh, so I can't see my character on the map. It's like I've only got like uh, six of the party here there. There he is. Hey. OK. So you, you want to move, Samuel? That's right. OK. Yeah, I find I'll a go. move and attack. I'll move over. Uh, give me one more uh, up into the, that crook there, uh, kind of diagonal from our valley. Go, okay, like right over here. Is that what you're talking about? Nope, right down one. Down one here. You got it. And then I'll fling away. Okay, go ahead and target a rat. And go ahead and make your attack roll. Now that you've targeted Giant Rat 16. Oops, you're trying to roll initiative. Oops, wrong button. Hey, Darcy. 15, a hit. Roll your damage. <laughs> I'm murder with this sling. Yep. Bang. Okay, so Samwell, you whip around your, your sling, and this time your bullet uh, flies into the writhing mass of rats. And you, you kind of you're confident that you might might have hit a rat. You hear a pain uh, squeak, and that is your round. Uh, so now we're on to either a rat or a dwarf. So <laughs> <laughs> we're on to rat number 16. Rolls its save, fails its save. It falls into the grease. Uh, we're on to rat number 14. My goodness, what a spell! What a spell! Uh, it also uh, fails its save and falls into the grease. We're on to a king. Darcy! Darcy, King Darcy! Well, what do you saves do? Us extra flasks of oil. Yes. <laughs> yep. So it is your turn, uh, Sir Darcy. Uh, what would you like to do with your character? I think he's shooting with a bow. He only has a longsword. Well. <laughs> Uh, 
I have to see the map. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just checking. Darcy, what you want to do is you want to maybe open up the map again for yourself. But I can tell you kind of uh, what the scene is. So approximately uh, 15 feet in front of you is a whole mess of your party members. And just beyond them is a whole mess of giant rats, most of whom are now caught in a pool of bubbling grease. So uh, what would you like to do, Darcy? I can tell you right now that uh, there's really not that much you can do. Uh, the, um, the tunnel has been bottlenecked uh, by these giant rats and your party members in front of you. Uh, so you could potentially hold an action if you want. You will tell me in Discord. Uh-oh. Okay, what will you tell me in Discord? Tell me in Discord. Oh, God. Okay, carry on. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll move past uh, Darcy for now. Uh, we're on to giant rat number four. We'll Give me a fall down. Fall down. <laughs> giant rat 15 goes and rolls a save. 11, it... it, it uh, it, uh, the best part is save. all those saves they made would have been hits. That's true. That's true. Because <laughs> they yeah. would have been attacking and not rolling saves. That's correct. So here we are at uh, Perrin. It's your turn. I rolled for my bow, so I will go ahead and take shots. If uh, I can get it to do... Go yeah, ahead and target okay. your, your target. Okay, go ahead and roll your attack. Oh, a nice hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Excellent. Your your arrow flies out, strikes the giant rat, killing it dead. All right, and you get a second attack at the end of the round. We'll make it know that. We'll come back to you uh, before we uh, get out of this round. All right, Masto, you're up next. Save your arrow. <laughs> See, um, are all these rats uh, uh, reachable for me? Like, like oh yes. All in the same oh, they're, they're all okay. in the same square. Yep. Or close enough to it. So essentially, all the rats on the right side of the screen you can reach. Ah, uh, yes, that's going to be a little bit short for you, Masto. So you miss with your attack, wow. and with that, we're on to Hanzo. Uh strength check or no, you want to just a roll to hit yeah go ahead and roll to hit 13 uh, uh yeah that plus was... three with my string 16 i smash the rail on the ground yes on uh, the rat in front of me yep i'd say that you do okay uh, yeah. my mic was off yeah the thing is my huh, grease i can make off. it disappear to stop the fire right away but your oil is just gonna oh yeah <laughs> oil and grease and Oh, yeah. I'm going with the I like fire. Okay. All right. So Hanzo... Uh, it hasn't killed me yet. Hanzo pitches his flask of oil. And it yeah. smashes and, and spreads across the grease. And uh, the rats uh, don't exactly know what's going to hit them. Anything else you want to no. do, Hanzo? I think that's your turn, correct? <laughs> uh, I grab the dwarf <laughs> and Shando. Oh. And with my giant, I back up. Oh, you back up. Uh huh. Okay. Um, you will take attacks of opportunity. Well, actually, you won't. On, the, on all, all the, the fallen rats. On all the fallen rats. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yes, you can back up. Uh, how far do you want to move? I'm gonna back up ten feet. Okay. And go take ahead. Take those two with me. Go ahead and make the uh, that that move for yourself. Okay. I'll go ahead and prove that. And uh, you, you took the dwarf with you. Is that yeah. Sorry. Where was Kador? Okay. 
Kator was here? Kator oh, was behind. Kator has been in the same place he's been, I think. That's wh where was yeah. he? So me, Kandor, and he was talking about. Yeah, where was Kandor? I accidentally moved his token. I think he was here, correct? Where he is currently in the map. No, he's uh, moving me, Chandorn. I'm moving Chandorn. Yes, I know. Okay. Oh. No, but I'm talking about Kador. Where was he? He was he was here next to next to you, right? Yeah, um, I've been. I've pretty much stayed where I am the, the entire time. Well, you're time. not on the map. That's okay. why we're like. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I so, should be to the right. All right. Yeah. So you move. You move right. Chandorn. I will. I will rule that you're strong enough to haul him away. Uh, so you you grab Chandorn, and you uh, you take a. You move 10 feet back from uh, the sprawled giant rats and the bubbling yep. pool of grease and oil. Yep. Uh, and that is your turn. Okay, moving on to... There are two rats, actually, that I think can attack you. Uh, 19... Uh, and... Go ahead. Now, yeah. yeah. 19, roll the, roll the opportunities of attacks. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and find my little giant rat. 19. And uh, roll... My attacks on you. Come here, Hanzo. Time to pwn Hanzo. Yeah. And first attack misses, second attack misses, and that is Hanzo's turn. We're on to Ailes. Ailes, it's your turn. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So I had already like prepared the uh, torch to throw, and I'm just like I duck off from behind uh, Thaddeus, and I just like chuck it into the into the grease and the oil. That's like just made a mess over there. And I'm like, burn. All right, there's a really wide area for you to strike with your torch. Right? This is not going to be a very hard roll. Uh, just give me a, a d20 attack roll. Uh, so do I just roll a 20, like a d20? Yep. Yeah, just roll a d20. Don't roll a 1. Well, good. Wait, well, how, wait. Oh, look at that spin. Why did I... 8. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, you should have blessed. Do you do you have uh Yeah, wouldn't you be blessed? Yeah, you'd be oh, blessed, but it's not an I'm attack roll, that's why I didn't count as plus one or right. dex. Right, so I'll, I'll just add, I'll just consider it an attack roll. Uh what's your dex? Um uh, my dex is fourteen. Do you have a, a bonus with that? Uh I don't know how to check if I have a bonus. I I can check. Nope, you don't have any bonus there, no. so it's a nine. You Okay, roll for scatter. Let's do that. TJ, do you remember the scatter rules? Uh, uh, uh normally we had scatter die. Uh, one, two, three. So you want to roll a. So it can only go one, two, three. Two. So roll a d6. Okay. One, two is. Wait, I roll a d6. Three, four is the middle. Five, six is going to be to the right. Go ahead and roll the d6, uh, uh, Zymer. Okay. So Six. 50% chance. <laughs> so it'll go left. Now roll pretty much any single die. If you roll evens, it goes to that square. If it rolls odds, it lands where you wanted it. Because you can't hit the other wall. It'll just bounce into the wall and land where it wants to anyway. What do I spin now? Is any die. die? It's, it's evens or odds. It's 50 50. Four. Evens. All right. So uh, you throw the torch, it hits, it hits the wall, wall <laughs> and uh, flips into the grease and oil, and you hear a terrible whooshing noise as that entire space uh, roars uh, to life with fire. And uh, with the damage that you're... Well, actually, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have rolled that. Uh, go ahead and roll 2d6, Slimer. Okay. Whoa. Five. Okay. I uh, like yours better. <laughs> uh, well, fortunately, let me just double check these uh, these little dudes here. I don't think they they have any more than five hit points. Let me just check to see if there's any here who, who would have more than that. Nope. nope. Like the max is four, I think. Yeah. No. All right. Uh, so with that with that, you know, clutch moves, no. Limer. Uh, Within one minute, uh, the giant rats in front of Thaddeus uh, raise their voices in one agonized, shrill uh, shriek, 
and then fade away into nothingness as they all burn to death. Uh, and with that, we are now out of combat. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally. All right. all right. So uh, let me just do a quick time check here. Wow. Sure. We are one hour past the point uh, we should have stopped. <laughs> uh, yep. So my apologies for that. It, this combat took a little longer than expected. Um, why don't we put a pin in it here and resume the adventure uh, in, in two weeks' time, if that's okay with everyone else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Okay, well, um, cool. let me go ahead and stop the recording uh, so you guys can really sort of unload on me. 